and welcome back. It is time to get into our last two matches of the evening. I am Achilles, once more joined by Avril. We'll be guiding you guys through the rest of the action here today. We'll be your ushers. Please take your seats and let battle commence once more. It's going to be the Hangzhou Spark going up against the LA Gladiators to see who is going to be moving forward. Officially in the top six now with our upper bracket teams here. These are the top four as well. Uh, still a couple lives to play through, but my goodness, we're finally getting into what I truly believe is like, you know, this is top tier NA versus top tier APAC. It's not going to be Seoul Dynasty, but I think Hanjo Spark, the way they defeated Seoul just not even that long ago, the 3 0 anyway, this is looking like one of the top teams now. So pink versus purple, this is going to be epic. It absolutely could be. I'll have to see what happens once we get into it and, you know, what the rosters and whatnot are going to look like, but. Uh, a hell of a lot of potential here for some showdowns. Obviously, yeah. you know, Alfie looking incredible. Patty Pan here in his first season of the Overwatch League as well, also looking utterly impeccable. So those two clashing is a very exciting prospect. Shy as well in the hit scan. Can have some stiff competition there from the side of the Gladiators. We'll see if that comes to fruition. But here's our starting five for the side of the Hangzhou Spark. Well, we did see them experiment a little bit with the roster at the end of the qualifiers. Widely have been sticking to this core right here. No surprises. I mean, you're probably not going to see Gushway until we get to an escort type map, maybe something like a Gibraltar, where it's very Winston focused. But even without Gushway, I think Bernard's just been fantastic so far this tournament cycle. I mean, he's really impressed. This was a play that last year people were really down about. But currently, Spark are having their best ever season, in my personal opinion, led mostly by this DPS line, Shy and Alfie. Alfie. Probably one of the most overlooked rookies coming in. There was some notable hype surrounding guys like Proper. I mean, that's deserved and respected. Um, but Alpha Yi has kind of swept the table and he's really come into his own. He kind of got a very deserved player of the match versus Soul Dynasty as well. I mean, this guy has been tearing things up on the Tracer. We've also seen him on the Genji. His Echo is up there as well. Shy's looking like one of the best hit scans once more. His Sojin is right at the top of my list. Yeah, way up there, making a name for himself for sure on that newest pick. But there is the starting five to the side of the Gladiators. We've got Kevster, Patty Pan, Reiner, Shu, and Skewed. Try to maintain some NA dominance and yep. see if they can take down the Hangzhou Spark. And Rhino's been super impressive on this tank position as well. You know, I think the desk has started to talk about this kind of new term, the Jote, right? The, yeah. Uh, what is it again? I think Hawk even came up with it, maybe. But uh, Jack of all trades kind of tank. We're starting to get in there. You still need to see, you know, for Hawk, he's still trying to move into those main tanks for Reiner as well. Will be a question mark in terms of whether he ends up playing any sort of off tanks. This is not really an off tank meta, so we're not really seeing Zarya. yet. Um, only Kaluj seems to be running Diva, and we'll get into that in the future match. But for now, you know, expecting typical ball, Doom, Winston kind of stuff coming through from Reiner. The interesting pick is actually going to be that Skewed starts over Funny Astro on our opening map off all the control. Typically, we have seen a lot of Funny Astro, uh, but I think those would normally be. You know, that would be your roster choice if you're going to something more like a Li Jung Tower. We're about to head into Oasis here, which is the Gladiator's map pick. So they're going to be looking at something more along the lines of a skewed Brig with Shu Zen or the double flex support as well. Both really strong options for Glads in this map. See if they can get a win here. A lot of teams have been taking us to Oasis as their map pick to begin and have not been able to put up the numbers. So will that happen once more? Or can the Gladiators close it out cleanly, start things off with the right foot forward and get the W? We are about to find out as we are moments away from jumping into the action and carrying out this incredible week of games. And these two teams, you know, we talked about rare matchups yesterday. And the Atlanta Reign took on the Sol Dynasty. This is a pretty rare one here as well. Only three times the LA Gladiators have met with the Hangzhou Spark. And I'll tell you what, they haven't seen each other in three years. The last matchup between LA and Hangzhou was in 2019 for the playoffs. So it's been a lot of years yeah. where these two squads have not met. Brand new rosters here. I don't even think there's a single returning player from either side from that 2019 squad as well. So. Franchise is squaring up here. Pink versus purple. Map number one, Shroud on Gardens. Uh, then we are. Gates opening up. And hey, look at that. Please pause immediately into the chat. <laughs> oh, this is just what happens when I uh, show up to cast, I suppose. But hopefully it's going to be a quick issue here for the side of the Gladiators to get dealt with. Obviously, yeah. having those admins right there on standby in venue is going to make for a pretty I thought uh. I thought you started, you know, shoving some of that curse over towards Jaws and Necro. They obviously had that super long pause in Toronto and Shanghai yeah. on the, uh, I think it was the first day. So mildly but, contagious uh, you know, back curse. Back we go here. 
It is. It is. But uh, let's uh, talk about a little. Since we do have opening line, uh, well, the lineups. So we have the opening compositions as well, uh, which I'll go through very briefly. I don't know if anyone caught that, but it was going to be the main differences is going to be Burner on the ball versus Reiner on the Doom. So. Not super unexpected from either side. Super Rich Brig, Irony Zen, Shu coming through on the BAP, skewed on the Brig. So skewed is going to be playing the Brig first and foremost with the BAP option for Shu. He'll, he might consider going towards the Ana after he sees the ball here. I think the Ana is going to have a lot more defensive utility to mis displace Bernard's ball and also support Reiner. So that might be something that the Gladiators look towards uh, if they get a reset. <laughs> Reiner just checking if his camera's working. Patapan and Shai coming through on the Sojourn as expected. Alpha Yi versus Kevster on the Tracer. Now, Alpha Yi took down Profit. Kevster is another one of those top tier Tracer players that Alpha Yi will be tested again now. Well, we'll see how these match up and whether or not those adjustments that you're talking about, you know, the Ana swap, perhaps, if that does come through, if the Gladiators are still going to at least give it a fight or two and see how uh, it goes piloting this comp. But mm. you know, we'll have to just wait and see. Has been a big amount of uh, trash talk coming out from the side of the Gladiators, Reiner in particular, uh, you know, really trying to make Expected. a name for himself <laughs> and uh, say, yeah, I am, you know, one of the best, if not the best tank in the league right now. And it's also, you know, rookie season, yada, 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 uh, has been looking utterly incredible for the squad. Well, you know, he wants to face up against, well, there's, there's been a bit of the back and forth between him and Fate sort of from afar via different interviews. Uh, Smurf's out of the picture now, so, you know, currently yeah. there's Burner on screen, Gushui maybe a little bit later on, which will be a fantastic matchup as far as Winston's go, because we're looking at a situation where, you know, Reiner's a rookie, Gushui is, I think, the origin of the Primal Blade. That he, he, I, to oh, me, he is. he is, like, the first person that really displayed the Primal Blade back in 2018 World Cup, I believe it was, so that'll be a big test for Reiner. You're seeing stats yeah. right now, right up there in terms of Doomfist. He's been one of the top Doomfist players, uh, certainly... You know, from the NA side of things, he kind of pioneered that alongside Dante, alongside Hawk. Those are probably my top three. Uh, so, you know, Ryan has been fantastic throughout. And I'll be interested to see if we go to Circuit Royale as well, because that's the one map that Space does come in for to play that Sigma. Bernard's obviously going to be comfortable with that as well. So uh, that'll be an interesting pick that we can sort of look into later on. I'm sure that Arns would love to get sniping in. That actually might end up being a weakness for Hangzhou Spark. They didn't look very comfortable with that uh, matchup between Shy and M and 3. Look, shy has been dominating on the Sojin, but his, his Widow has maybe taken a bit of a hit negatively in recent games. So that might be one area that Glads, if we get, you know, once we get to map 3, depending on who gets the pick, Circuit is one I'm looking forward to. Well, looks like everything should be good to go. The ready checks coming out in the chat. We should be underway once more. And we can finally see these teams clash and see who's going to be able to draw first blood, get that initial lockdown here on Garden and Oasis. I'm not sure exactly what the issue was, but it seems like it's all taken care of and she was ready to party. As are we. So a little bit more time to think about where things are going to go. All right, well, back into action pretty much. You'll notice that Berna is taking control of Mega, so it seems like Hangzhou Spark will not be coming through from the side rooms, playing straight from main. Gladiators, touch point first, 15 seconds until unlock. All right, slow and steady. Gladiators to the inside track now, just going to be occupying the point. They say, yep, we're more than happy to have the Hangzhou Spark have to come to us. Panic building up for a rail. Looking for a decent enough target. Trying to swing around the corner, and there you go. He finds Shy and catches him completely off guard. Irony as well, going to be taken down. Shu ends up getting traded. Bernard picking that one up, trying to keep the Hangzhou Spark in the fight, but with Super Rich out, there's no supports here for the side of the Hangzhou Spark. Gonna have to concede this as the cap is there, and Gladiators are starting to tick up. Yep, first on the cap, first on the kill feed as well there. Great pick from Patapan on towards Shy. That's the majority of the damage. Going from the Hangzhou Spark. I believe they did get one trade in there with Shu going down, but otherwise Gladiators with their presence already being on the cap, looking at a okay. very fast pick and instantly on the second fight. Shy responds to Patty. Yeah, the rail not quite connecting, but still does a good amount of damage there on to Skewed, and Alpha Yi manages to get on top of him. They find the kill, they answer back. Shu falling lower and lower, the immortality field already burned and cleaned up. It's a quick little turnaround here for the side of the Hangzhou Spark. 32% set up for the Gladiators as they take control. Clean as well, don't think anybody from Spark died there, so they get the full setup now. Yeah. First ultimates are starting to come online. It's both Tracer players. Probably shouldn't be too much of a surprise there. Kepster versus Alpha Yi, a matchup that we've been really looking forward to. Again, it's the brand new rookie of Alpha Yi that's been an absolute terror so far. Not up against a player that is capable of being a roll star in Kepster. Here comes oh. his first pulse. Lands onto Irony. Gets that one. 
It's a rerouting there for Alpha Yi. He wanted to do pretty much the same exact thing there as they were fumbling through the choke. He managed to make it happen. Jump in, Shine out, gonna be taken down. A trade out on the Sojourns, but still gonna be, oh, I was gonna say a two for one, but now it's a two for two overall. As the Spark's still in control with the flip getting ready to come through. Bernard comes scratching across the point, keeps the contestant for a little bit longer. It's super rich, taking so much damage. Point blank there from Kepster. They managed to find the final blow in the end. Bernard trying to escape, grabs the Mega Pack. And use the ball lower and lower the Orb of Harmony, steadily putting some healing down onto the Wrecking Ball, and he will be able to make it out with his life intact, but the point has to be conceded. Gladiator's now back in control, getting ready to retake a lead. No Super Rich there, brilliant sleep coming through, or just, you know, maybe a stun or something. I, he went down in either case, and well, Bernard, low HP, also can't really go in there. It's Shy once again, though, opening things up on the rail gear on the baddie. Uh, he's the one who's walking into the point first before pretty much anybody else, and he finds his eliminations. Dive into the back there, Reiner's gonna strike from Reiner. Looking to take this a little bit more aggressively. Seismic Slam gives him a little bit of green HP. Overclock now out, though. And Reiner ends up diving into the minefield. Nicely set up there from Bernard. They get the punish, they get the kill onto the enemy tank. Paddy Pat managing to find Alp V. Bernard taken down by a pulse. Definitely still fightable here for the side of the Gladiators. They look to maintain control, but the Spark have cleared them off the point. Just set up to be able to get that flip back into their favor. A little bit of fire there from the side of Irony. Going lower and lower down to about half HP. The rally coming. Oh, dude! Through, however, helping to keep alive. It's Shy once more. Finds Patty Pan in the head. The rail accuracy from Shy continuing to look utterly phenomenal. Gets that punish, and the Spark will be able to win out the extended fight. Super important picks coming through. Now, big cleanup here as well. Andre Spark will be able to overtake the 72% in just a few moments. Late stag is always good for the Hangzhou Spark. Glad is trying to get their own trades in, but at this point they just need to reset. They need to get some respawns in. Kevster, that was his first death, by the way, losing out to Shy. So hadn't actually died before then. He spoke about Shy's railgun accuracy was 75% in that previous fight. Has killed Patapan a number of times. Now Glad is looking to come in for this 99 contest that Hangzhou Spark have. Tabs on the members of the Gladiators, they spot Kepster, Reiner diving forward, falls a little bit low, the healing comes pumping through to keep him alive. The shoot tries to get that next window online. Full spot, held by both of the Tracers, we'll see if they can find any primary targets. Trying to open things up, but Reiner now stuck in the corner, the Immortality Field gonna be cleared out, he tries to make his exit, the healing comes in. He will be able to stay alive for a little bit longer. Pulse Bomb goes out, gets the stick, I believe, in a skewed shield. So there's a final elimination, but as they push up onto the high ground, Shy helps set up the kill on his shoe. They find the kill. Patty Pan gonna be taken down as well. A two for one now for the side of the Hangzhou Spark as they look to close this out, and it's looking damn good for him. Alpha Yeet finds one. The break's both gone on either side, but the OT bleeds away. They manage to get a touch back through for just a brief moment, but Reiner cannot stay here. He puts the fists up, trying to buy some space. Kever, Kepster, rather, dashes out. Over time, starts plummeting once more. Now, the transcendence popped by Irony. He's trying to keep everybody else alive. Pull back away from the point. 5v5 again. At the moment, the minefield's gonna be dropped in. As you say, 5v5, but it's quickly taken right back into the hands of the Hangzhou Spark in their favors. The minefield clears out one. Shy gets you. And there you go. The OT bleeds away at long last. 172% as Spark will take Garden. A really long final contest there coming on through. Ellie Gladi is doing their best to survive. and. Eyes on Reiner there, who actually did live for an extremely long time. Great healing coming through from the supports of the LA Gladiators. But speaking of which, Shu tries to go for a window on high ground, which usually can be quite successful. Shy, though, sliding directly in, taking down Shu, denying any sort of value that the window could have had. And even though they do kill Shy with skewed down, no supports. Gladiators can only just try and have Reiner still touch the point a couple times, allow Shu to come back on a Lucio, continue the touch. The end of the fight and the final completion of the round comes through from the fact that Shy did actually have an overclock. Comes back and there's enough time for Spark to be able to wait for Shy as well while holding the point. And the overclock's going to be enough. So moving on to the next round now, Shy with the Ash. And this is going to be the eight-pack special. The Watch Roadhog, control though, from Reiner. On the health on the Mega Pack side. And the Roadhog, like I sort of mentioned here, is going to be trying to be a direct counter to Bernard's ball. See what he can get done. Already taking quite a hefty chunk of damage. Obviously, don't mind it too, too much as a Roadhog, because as long as you're not dead, you can take a breather, get a good amount of ult charge, or just let those Orbs of Harmony sit on you to really build up towards the Transcendence for Skewed. Hook's not going to connect. Super Rich has the shield, shield raised. Keeps himself protected. Alpha Yi already, though. Finding the first kill. Gladiators, they might get the first cap, but could quickly go back over into the hands of the Hangzhou Spark here. And Skewed waits to respawn. Reiner, Discord Orb out onto him. Just chunk down 
A little bit lower now, just currently hiding out in the center of the point. Takes a three to try to get himself top back up. Oh. Actually, Shy gonna be taken down as he swings the corner. Rhino finds the elimination, but Irony gets some revenge very quickly thereafter. Now Shu gonna be dead, so Askewed looks to rejoin the fight. His cohort in support ends up falling. Andrew Sparks should be able to convert this into a point flip, but it hasn't happened yet. Well, that's the thing, right? And Gladiators, despite losing this fight, actually have the point control first. It's because they are playing the Roadhog. Spark have to dance around it. They have to tiptoe. They don't want to fight directly into the Hog. Right, are swapping off now. And you're right, they don't have it just yet, but it is a 5v4. We are expecting the Spark flip. It just, it's coming in really slowly. Yeah, I mean, this is so much later. This is so much more presented to the side of the Gladiators than you would have anticipated, given the kills that the Spark were able to find at the very beginning of the fight. Reiner once more, just falling low, hides out behind the center pillar, crashes back through here onto Bedar as they look for the elimination. It's actually going to be Alpha Yi diving into the back to assist his tank. They do get the kill, and the flip will finally be there, but I don't think the Gladiators are going to be too not fucked about that. They managed no. to get the 52%. I mean, the only thing that's about negative for the Gladiators is that Reiner does start late of the ball, so he's a bit behind in the ult charge towards the mines. And, you know, the opening hog gamble is just that. I'll say that they actually gambled pretty, you know, they, they got the payout here in terms of the 52. So if you're going to go for a Roadhog gamble, which doesn't allow you to fight for high ground at all, which is why Gladiators are playing so close coast side towards the cars. Uh, but they had 52, right? They, they managed to hold on to the point, which is really important for progress. I'll take a redo. Recall there from Kempster. Staying safe, looking for another target. Bob gonna be opened up from Shy. Best set goes right over towards the Gladiator's entry point to the site, but he is now gonna be taken down. Alpha Yi gone as well. Stick comes through, Super Rich out of there. Gladiators look like they're gonna be able to retake this before the Spark can even tie up the percentage. Bernard is the last one standing, but with the Discord Orb, not long for this world, gets cleaned up. And they're 5% shy of tying it up as the Gladiators regain control. I mean, look at the Spark Ultimates. I mean, that, that probably could have been a fight for the Spark to actually try and commit into, but a couple of players got bursted down quickly. They did kill Shu mid-window, but the rest of the players, including Patapan, finding kills via the window. Spark thought about maybe playing for a minefield, which would have been great counter towards the window. Thought about playing the Transcendence from Irony as well, but just too late, because, well, oh, Patty. he's already down. Speaking of down, it's great damage, I think, from Shy and then Alpha E for the alley -oop. Alpha E gets himself in the perfect position to find that elimination. There's the stick, and Skew's Transcendence is going to do, not, do, not do a damn thing, is what I'm trying to say. There's the explosion will take him down. Now, Trans expires. Bernard does fall. Irony finding Kevster, however. Minefield could be dropped in from Reiner. He's traded out quickly thereafter, and the minefield's not going to be finding any additional value. So the flip is there for the side of the Hangzhou Spark, and they only have to invest a pulse bomb. Yeah. And it all comes down from an opening headshot from Shy, but at long range. So Patapan gets taken down to 1 HP. Great communication or use of pings there to allow Alpha to again get that alley oop kill. Force of 5 versus 4. And the LA Gladiators lose a point off of one frag. So. Being able to consistently get Badaban down certainly has been paying dividends for the Hunger Spark over the course of two rounds. Just have that overclock at the ready. They've thrown out, just clearing out some of those mines for now. Not finding any kills, Big but rally. oh, it's going to be the Spark who are finding so much value. Patty and Shu now skewed, going to be taken down. Reiner, I believe, out into traffic ends up going down. And that is going to be final fight coming up now. Gladiators with one last attempt to get this flip back into the favor. And if they can win it, they will take the round. The Hangzhou Spark are looking to hold it. Most likely. The trance. Yeah, they really need Nano here as well if they can. You actually have Kevster on the flank coming through, so that's a play that is unaccounted for for the Hunger Spark. One transcendence to try and block out as much as possible. Paddy has to be the one to end this one with the overclock. There it is, and he instantly finds Alpha Yi. Great headshot off the rip. Super Rich as well, dangerously low. Hovering up above the point for the moment. Shy taking a body shot as well. Bernard comes crashing through. The flip is there, but however. Gladiators managed to take this from right out beneath the Spark. Our left the point, just a little bit too much elevation, trying to keep it contested. Now they have to put it back into the favor as we go into double overtime. Shots coming through, Bernard falling lower and lower. The transcendence is in response. Irony just trying to keep the top up. The need comes down over on the stairwell. Pulled pump from Kepster, not gonna find a damn thing. Alpha Yi still holding on to one of his own. Skew taken out, Shy traded a one for one so far. Support for a DPS. Alpha Yi can still be a bit of an X factor here for the side of the spark as COT bleeds down. They managed to touch back through, keep it contested. The pile driver for Bernard. Finds no support. the support are now out of the fight. Irony gonna be taken down, but does it matter? We'll have to just wait and see. The Super Rich is still here. Reiner moves up to the top side of the point, falling lower and lower, goes to the mega pack, the health pack. It's not there, though. The falls lower, and there's the pulse bomb stick. Alpha Yi takes him down, the flip is there, and the Hangzhou spark will claim the round, they'll claim the map. Oasis is there as a 1-0 start. And a 2-0 scoreline on Oasis as well. It was damn close because we got the multiple 99s there. Oh, yeah. LA Gladiators 
really pushed the Hangzhou Spark extremely hard, but opening pick coming through from Hangzhou Spark multiple times, whether it's Shy, Alpha Yi, or somebody else, exceptionally good. LA Gladiators, near heroics coming through from Padipan in the last fight. See the overclock, said that he needed specifically to pop off and open things up. He does that onto Alpha Yi. But once the Nano comes on through, they're unable to get any further kills than that. Hangzhou Spark delay the point with the Bob. Eventually you find both Shu and Skewed. Skewed tries to comes back, tries to come back with the Transcendence, but he's about 1% off, so that really makes a big difference. Glads can't hold on to the point, Skewed can't trance, and it's all over. Slim margins for the victory here for the side of the Hangzhou Spark, but a 2-0 on Oasis nonetheless. Gladiators now will have a map pick once more. Like I said, people were picking Oasis, and they're not winning on it, Avril. Hangzhou Spark managed to take it away from them, but now for hybrid, Gladiators will have their map selection once more. We'll see where they want to take us and whether or not they can get a win on it when we come back from the break. Alpha Yi, as he goes in, is uh, bound for Rookie of the Year. I think he basically the equivalent of three people, it, it would seem. Uh, the guy's been putting up such significant numbers. How does this man do it on every single hero? We got to turn it off. High ground as they go ahead and take the fight up towards Super Rich. Alpha Yi managing to fight too? Oh no, they have overstepped the pounds. Him got now, or Alpha Yi rather, into the back there, finds Fix Up. Cleans up the kills. I mean, he is on a tear. He's no just way. Gonna, he's just gonna fight, man? Damn, he nearly had all of the kills. Man, Alpha Yi. Going forward. 
Yeah, Mana does go in. He comes up with two quick kills. This is Yaki and Lip both falling. Seems like this is finally the moment for the for them to break through. Now he's looking for Who Are You, waits on the deflection, and double rockets greeting him as he hits the floor. Managing to stay alive though. He's Alpine. In the meantime, managing to find fix up follows up, gets a second elimination, gets Ooh. a third. Alpine, okay, starting to pop. I think he heard what I was saying. He says, okay, let me show you some uh, some magic on the tracer. And Alpha Yi looking impeccable at the start here already. Putting up some solid numbers on the first map of Oasis. Here's his stats with the Tracer. 60% uh, Pulse Bomb attach rate. Pretty, uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Very good, in fact. <laughs> and 15 final blows as well, which was top fragging in the server across the board for everybody. Uh, for those that are curious, Kefs on the other side had eight, so it's a difference of seven, but it is nearly double here. Uh, the curious thing about the two players so far, and you know, I, I am drawing comparisons between these two, is Alpha Yi is really coming up to fight up against Kefs in this particular matchup. Pa uh, Kefs actually had more damage there, but only by about 400. There's a lot of elims for Alpha Yi as well. He did less damage with higher final blows. What that really says to me, is that Alpha Yi had a lot of opportunities where he was able to capitalize on low HP members where damage was done by somebody else. And that, to me, is evidenced by one specific kill that I want to highlight again, the Shy headshot onto Pan and Pan into the Alpha Yi alley from the low ground. Things like that between Shy and Alpha Yi and even Burner is how Hunger Spark are able to find these picks. Picks specifically as well, a lot of them actually on the shoe who had 12 deaths in that game. That is the highest across the board for any member, the only player with double-digit deaths. He was a key target for the Hangzhou Spark, and if that continues, Gladiators will struggle. Well, now on Midtown. Secondary map pick here for the side of the Gladiators after not getting their win on Oasis. Let's see how they fare, whether or not they can, in fact, tie this up. It's gonna be the Hangzhou Spark first on the defense. Gladiators out the gates on the attack, we'll see what they can get done. Alfie for now showing that Torbjorn, which was in the highlight package that we did play, but we'll yeah. swap off. He's going to go over to the Echo instead. Well, there was a highlight as well that uh, was actually on this map. I think it might have been versus Fusion, but I'm honestly forgetting a little bit. It was Alfie Genji. Wow. And he had that brilliant Dragon Blade on B, where I think one slash hits four members, something like that. Just ridiculous stuff. It was one of the most impressive Genji plays I think I've seen so far in this season. But, you know, for a lot of North American fans, this is probably your first time seeing Alfie. And, well, you're in for a treat because this man has completely kicked down the door in terms of Rookie of the Year discussion. Speaking of people in that discussion, of course, Reiner is still here. Thought that maybe Doom would have been the pick. Obviously with Shuin skewed in, we're not looking towards Ryan. There's no funny Astro for the Lucio. This is also a map where Bernard can play Sigma, their own double flex. So Gladiators moving into Midtown, you know, this has to be an expectation that it, you can be going up against a Sigma on the other side. I just love that stat that we just had up there though. As far as, you know, highest match final blows. Records said the last time that these two teams did square off, which was in 2019. So records that have now stood the test of time for a significant period. And, you know, with some fairly familiar and missed names in Sure4 and Bazzi. Let's see if anyone will be able to maybe break those numbers here in this season at some point. Patty though, chunked out a little bit, slides back, stay safe for now. He's shy, just outside of the train card, would love to displace him, but just has his attention pulled to too many sides right now. I mean, they have good map control. You can look at this. Patapan already has five stations. As long as he has teammates around him, he does. Ryan is also there as well. Oh. Get some kills. Healthy. He went downstairs to grab a snack. Just munched on Kevster right there. Took him down. Gets the follow up on the Patty Pan. And the fire station no longer occupied by the gladiators there. Right back into the respawn room. Well, well played by Alpha Yi, getting the initial pickup on the padded pad, but also surviving gets Reiner as well, so he doesn't get staggered. He doesn't die, well rather, he just doesn't die at all, which would have been awkward because LA Gladius could potentially use that window. But, uh, also, you look at Irony as well, kind of pocketing there. They just play the 2v1 against Reiner, who would love to get a kill into anybody in that sort of situation. Anna, Nana versus online from Shu, so this is going to be the Nano coming through onto Reiner to open up the fight. Alpha Yi getting pressured just a bit here as he does hover down on the ground. Kevster looking for the kill. Alpha Yi takes the disguise, puts some distance between them. Trying to answer back with a little bit of damage, but has to land, go into the window. Try to stay a little bit safer here. It's taking a while to get the dive in. That it is. And trying to get the pincer maneuver there onto him. Ryder joining in as well. Still haven't quite been able to find him. The one for one as Shy goes down, but Shu gets traded. That's going to be the nano. Potentially out of the fight, and now both supports are gone. Alpha Yi finding that kill, finding Ryder. Nor will go down. Alpha Yi hitting the ground. The pulse bomb stick is good. Oh, the dude! Turn the sides over, but yeah, the duplicate comes in. Alpha Yi, he gets a copy. He takes out Patty Pen. 
He managed to stay in it, and that shut down everything from the side of the Gladiators. That was their moment, their chance to be able to get in onto the point, and it completely gets reversed. Fantastic play from Alpha Yi. Yeah, he dodges the pulse bomb using the eye frames from the dude, but let's take a look at that again. Boom! He has milliseconds of time to react to that one, and then he outplays Patapan as well. What an absolute god in the flex DPS. And Super Rich and Irony both died. Irony maybe threatened to pull out okay. the transcendence, doesn't even do it. They'll have to do it now, though. Yeah, the window is up. Patapan nearly getting a double there. It looked like he was going to have the collab. Does not. Instead, just gets Super Rich. Gladiator's finally able to occupy the point after some good initial kills and skew. They'll go ahead and swat the fly, so with Alfie out of the sky, this could very well just end up being the cap. And Hongjo Spark, they're close by, but it looks like they don't want to try to contest this one. So we'll just go ahead and let it go over yep. the Gladiators. They take him down below a minute, so it's only going to be three minutes and 20 seconds in the time bank, but Glad's nearly have five ults to the push. Well, I have to kind of, speaking of ultimates, I have to kind of ask where the Irony Transcendence was in that last fight. We did see Super drop down the window, but would have liked to have seen further support. Maybe a couple of members got blown up too early. Then Irony's like, wow, we just copped the loss here. Three versus two, don't want to burn the trance. You are going up against four ultimates on the other sides of those. So very difficult situation for the Hangzhou Spark. To me, this has to be an aggressive move from Shy. You might not want to burn the trance, but the overclock needs to come through here to at least force ultimates out of the LA Gladiators. LP right back into it. Finding Kebster, who does nearly have that Pulse Bomb online to complete the fifth and final piece of Exodia for the Gladiators. They got it. What do you do? We often joke. Free push it it's not the throwable. Right. There's the dash forward. Shy gonna be taking down the Pulse Bomb, looking great. Patty as well, gonna be getting super rich with the overclock. Drops down, rotates, wraps around behind him. He's just looking for a target, won't be able to find one until LP shows his head right here. He's managed to dash away for a brief stagger, but Kev Kevzer gets on top of him, and yeah, it's a nice stagger. Reiner as well, okay. narrowly surviving, means that she was going to be able to build up towards that next nano. Well, look at this. The Paler is nearly at the finish line now, so you actually need to see Spark go. They had opportunities to start a fight. This was so slow. The tempo is off on the Hunter Spark. Finally, the Transcendence comes in through the Bailing Touch. Answering overclock. Anti was there for just a moment. Shy does stay safe. They push him back down here into the underpass. Bernard leading the charge. Goes crashing payload, through. Payload. Takes him a little bit lower. And as you say, the payload it is crested over the finish line of point B. So a bump up at the time bank. And now the Ford spawns on the side of the Gladiators. Hangzhou Spark, they're looking for some eliminations. But it's uh, just kind of putting them in a bad spot. Bernard just having a wet noodle fight with Reiner. But oh boy, tragedy has struck. Uh, that is definitely such an unfortunate situation for the Hangzhou Spark, but super avoidable as well. They they needed to start fights very quickly on B. They allowed a lot of free push. I mean, that should have been more than a one fight for, a hundred, for the Hangzhou Spark in terms of how many fights are available on B. They realistically only had a single fight there instead of two. So now, this is the bed that they have to lie in. Already on towards C. No. Barely defended the last two sections of the map so far. A was decent, but uh, pretty invisible on B. If that comes back to bite them and loses them in the map, they're going to be kicking themselves over it. Maybe we'll get a replay of it as well. I believe it was probably Kevster able to go ahead and drive that one across point B. But uh, Patty already finding two. Alvi and Bernard both going to be taken down. It's the sight of the super rich. He's got a shield bash away. Shine will level the playing field just a little bit, but now he's stuck in the corner. The nade there, the headshots fly in. Patty Pan really starting to come into his own. It was a bit of a rocky start for him. But looking a hell of a lot better in the latter half of this map. Okay, well, this is going to be the first reset on B and C. We'll, we'll just talk about C now. As the Hangzhou Spark desperately needed to find a kill there. The rally being traded through, so Glads will take that all one, one away and square up for the next round now, or the next round of fights. Okay. Patapan going down to another 10 seconds lost, and this is where Hangzhou Spark is trying to make up for lost time. The curse. There's already a lot of payload distance found, though, which doesn't feel good for Spark, and they need yeah. the mines to deepen this next point as well. Yeah, even having the win condition, if they can stop the card from finishing, this is still a good amount of distance that the Gladiators have built up. So, definitely just need to be playing to halt this in place, make sure that they do not get that completion. So they can try to play a, away from those extra innings. Don't be playing down, wrapping around the backhand side here, looking yeah. for that flank angle, Patty. That's super annoying. Privy to it. Very difficult to deal with as well. We have Overclock's about to be online now. This is where the Glads want to go. Trade out one of the supports, a piece. Gonna be taken down, Alfie dashing forward, helps finish off Ryan, who doesn't even need to use the pulse bomb here. They'll hold it now for the follow-up fight, in all likelihood is Paddy Pan, yeah, just gonna be taken out. Shu trying to escape, down below half HP. Looks like he may be okay at the very end here. 50 seconds remaining for the Gladiators. Multiple ultimates yeah. once more, getting ready to be online. So just a short skirmish there, see if you can poke out a few members of Spark. It was an initial pickup, I believe it was from Paddy Pan. 
But uh, for LA Gladiators, wants to start dropping members, it is going to be the re reset. They don't want to overspend What's ultimates. Pulse Bomb gone, but the other four... It's going to be pretty large here. Nano Clock available as well between Pat and Shoot, which could be pretty decent. Out on the hot spot, it goes that wide. It's the Pulse Bomb. Not able to get that stick. Now it's going to be the Nano Clock coming through from Pat Pat. Transcendence is matched on either side. And our anti here for the moment, Patty, desperately trying to get a headshot with these rails, but has not happened. Doesn't find too much of anything there. And Shy under pressure, however, tries to slide away, but inevitably gets taken down. Kepster scooping multiple kills in the fight. Skewed going to be the only casualty on the set of the Gladiator so far. Kepster still here, holds on to the pulse bomb as Alfie e gets taken down. The delay tactics is all on Bernard, but he's got no HP. Now Super H tries to occupy okay. the card for a little bit longer, but it's not going to happen. They manage to take it down into overtime, but the Gladiators will make it to point C. That's the silver lining for the Hangzhou Spark, right? They are at least able to defend until the overtime. It comes down to an unfortunately missed pulse bomb from Alfie lurking on the back end so effectively, but just in the final moments, you see Shu strafing right side. Alpha, you thought he'd go left. It's one of those free kicks you find, you know, in a football match. It's like, which way is the goalie going to go? And Alpha, is going to swing wide. Unfortunately, he's not going to land that ball into the net. And that could have made the big difference there as well. As I said, they'd been very much targeting Shu on Oasis. Shu's had a much better game so far on the attacking side of Midtown. I mean, a lot of this to me still, in terms of how this map has gone down, comes down to how poorly Hangzhou Spark played on B, not prioritizing the fact that they were down on ultimates for the initial defense, which means to effectively economy, to trade economically, you have to be the ones throwing yourselves at the LA Gladys to burn their ultimates. And even if you do lose a team fight, I mean, they're going to push anyway, so you're either just going to sit there doing nothing and they're going to push, or you're going to be active. Maybe you lose and they push, but at least you get to win economically. So you've got to do something there if you're the Spark. On top of the C9, it was just a bit of a disaster. They'll at least be able to make a small comeback on C, but this is Gladiators, I think, drawing the line in the sand in terms of having their win conditions set and looking like a very winnable map now for LA. It really is. If they can match that attack, or at least, you know, parts of it, <laughs> with their defense here. They should be feeling pretty all right about it. Super Rich swapping off the Lucios with the Brigida. As Bernard goes crashing forward on the Wrecking Ball, looking to scout. Looks like no swaps to be had, though. We'll just be sticking through with this. Ultra Spark as well. I mean, no real obvious win conditions outside of Shy, just maybe we're getting a pick, a very pick-focused kind of composition between Ball, Tracer, and Sojin. So for the LA Gladiators here, building Nanos until the towards the back, really effective. Kefs are also on the Genji here, so no Tracer. But their dive potential is really strong with the Genji oh. too. Well, Shiel, headshot. Big opening kill. It's Patty trying to stay safe. The roll through, he's looking for the pile driver. He makes it around the corner, does keep himself protected for a little bit longer, but Bernard inevitably does manage to get on top of the enemy Sojourn, finds that kill. A couple openings here, but Al Alfie gonna be traded as well. Yeah, it's just a bloody mess. It's skewed. Finds the second one. Both, some, both DPS, rather, are going to be taken down by him. Reiner here in the stairwell, duking it out. Skewed arrives. Makes it a bit of an unfair fight. They find the elimination. They will hold firmly. No ticks given up. I mean, that's almost exactly what we saw early with Alpha Yi and Irony playing on the high ground as well, where Reiner tries to chase. This time it's going to be Bernard trying to chase Reiner. Can't quite get the kill. So despite the heroics from Shy opening onto Shu, they couldn't translate that into further kills outside of just Padded Pan. And for the Gladiators, off the back of Skewed, get a number of amazing trades that keeps them in the fight. Bernard's dead already. Somewhere off screen, trying to dive a back line perhaps. And Shu gets a better of a, maybe a sleep into an ante with people corralled around him. Either way, it's a big pick here for the side of the Gladiators. Half the time bank getting ready to be drained down. Hangzhou Spark first ult coming online. Is the Pulse Bomb's there? Oh, what is that? that? Oh my goodness, right between the legs gets skewed. Mid-air. Great stick from Alpha Yi. And that's going to be the break open. As they make their way over to the point and also allows for Irony to try to catch up to they that set his charge. Irony's dead, though. Okay, that's going to be a decent pick coming through from Glads. I mean, they can come back Skewed. in now. They have Nano. They're about to have the Transcendence as well. But you're right, this is a spawn camp coming in. He's trying to. He's looking for the elimination. It takes him low, but... Oh, shoot. Shoes here, shoes he here. lobs in the nade. He gets that healing buff. He manages to keep Skewed alive. They can't force the Transcendence no either. No ticks. Now he's out of there. No ticks established. Kempster dead, but... With Bernard this disconnected from the team, they can't really play off the back of this pick. Now Kepster's respawned. He's coming back into the fight. 
And that was a perfect reset from Gladys. They still have five ultimates, by the way. They haven't had to spend anything. That should have been the camp from Spark. They got skewed down. They nearly had a successful spawn camp as well. But again, they can't oh. translate into anything useful. With that pick coming through, Spark have to reset. And this is disastrous for the Spark because economically, again, Glads are massively in the lead. Spark, despite Shy and Alfie getting these kills, they're just not able to find any success. Trying his luck once more. Bernard goes forward. The minefield coming down, but he knocks you away from it rather than into it, so he can't find any kills. Captor gonna be shut down. No kills to be found with the Dragon Blade. Skewed falling. It's gonna be a two for three. Hangzhou Spark winning out as Patty waits. Hey, Shale at the ready. Tries to send it through. Tries to get a headshot. He cannot, but the Hangzhou Spark still taking the damn time, getting their way over onto the point. Nate comes down. That'll zone them back for the moment. The overclock. He's gonna slide forward. Look for an elimination, but. The rails do not connect. First tick, finally going to be grabbed. Reiner nearby, skewed. Transcendence in his trans. pocket. Ready to use it to escape, escort them forward should they feel that the fight is winnable. Shoot now going to be taken down. Alfie gets him with the pulse bomb. A major pickoff, but can they win out the, the, this point in this fight? Dive in, Reiner down to a sliver. Healing going his way. They managed to keep him sustained for a little bit longer, but eventually, Shy and Bernard have him surrounded. They get the kills, and the cap will be coming through for the side of the Hangzhou Spark, but the time bank is significantly weakened. They have to absolutely pop off during the streets phase if they want to finish the map. Yep. It's another perfect disengage from LA Gladiators because they're able to get all their members back in. Skeffers comes back on a tracer. However, the stick from Alpha Yi once more. Let's take a look at this one. It's on towards Shu. Just lobs it in there, skewed. Doesn't even matter if he turns around for Shu because that is going to be a perfect kill. So eventually, Alpha Yi actually got two kills there. Is going to help Spark get it over. And it's actually five ultimates burned for Gladiators. So Spark not only get the cap, but they make it incredibly expensive, as expensive as possible. Yeah, pretty much leveling out the playing field as far as the ult economy is concerned. Shu, a bit of a lead towards that nano boost. Irony going to be trying to catch up as best as possible, but Gladiators just occupying the high ground. They're more than happy to go ahead and give up a little bit of distance and then try to stop the card. Waiting for Nano. Top of this underpass ramp. She was nearly there as well, so kind of delaying here as well, keeping tabs on the payload. They don't want it to get past the sort of underpass here. It's just been slowly pushed in. And as we stall out further and further, Gladiators are looking for win conditions via ultimates. They're nearly there. That's when things get difficult for Andre Spark. So time for Alpha Yi and Shy to find that opening again before Gladiators can move. Just Spark skirmishing. They do manage to take this high ground for now. Alfie just going to be inching the cart forward a little bit more. Nano goes through, goes out on the Reiner. Kemps are trying to drop down the pulse bomb. And Shy, he doesn't move away from it. He ends up falling. Skewed down to a sliver of HP once more. But Shu will be able to keep him alive. No kills to be found. Super Rich dead as well. Hangzhou Spark going to have to reset and go once more. But they do not have time on their side. They need to win on this next fight. Or else this is going to be the yep. Gladiators tying up the series. Well, no stick from Kevster, but the AOE of the Pulse Swamp is just enough to clip Shy's legs, I believe. So, still enough for a kill. Alpha, you tried to trade for Skewed, as we saw. Did not commit the Pulse Bomb, nearly got the kill. Unfortunately, had to recall away. Couldn't quite survive in the situation. The only silver lining here for the Sparks is they did get a 1 for 0 in alt trade, but we'll see how much that ends up counting for them. I think, oh, sorry, actually, uh, two ultimates out because you have the Nano and the Pulse Bomb. So, economically, they look good. Time is such an unfortunate situation for the Sparks, so. Yeah. They have to cap here. They need to cap this and they need to do it cheaply. Jump forward. Nano out. Bernard gets on top of Shu as well. They find an opening kill. Transcendence now going to be mob skewed. Clearing out the minefields. Patty Pan around the back. Overclock rolling. He's looking for another target. Pushes up over the top. Oh, that's Bottom so big. Farewell. Dome's shy. Now looks for a little bit more. He will get pressured out. However, Super Rich finds that elimination. Already taken down. Reiner staying alive. Drops down. Just looking for a semi aggressive meteor strike. Either way, it won't be able to connect onto anybody. The touch is there, Alpi, forcing out the overtime, recalls back the Pulse Bomb, not gonna find an elimination. Now they need Bernard to try to clear this out. Pile Driver goes through, Shu gonna be taken down, Shy taken out as soon as he pops the overclock as well, and this is looking like a wash. Of OT bleeds away, the Gladiators with a great defense will be able to take their map pick of Midtown and tie this series up one to one. Yeah, it's a fantastic turnaround coming through from the LA Gladiators. You see the humongous pick from Patapan towards the end there. The only serious win condition left for the Spark was Shy also popping his overclock and maybe getting a few picks to turn it around for the Spark and actually can't be. But Kevster killing Shy just before that's allowed to happen is everything the Glads need to finish things off on this particular map. Still have to kind of rewind and address the fact that Spark, to me, really threw away their opportunity on defense on that B point. Completely invisible. If it wasn't for that, maybe Spark could have made it really competitive. Gladiators capped the map completely. Don't allow Spark to get past B, and it's going to be a one-on-one. 
There we go. We have, as we often say, a series on our hands, which is exactly what we want to see between these two squads. So, map pick working well for the side of the Gladiators. Now the Hangzhou Spark, they will get a selection of their own as we set our sights over towards Escort. Shy in, you know, could expect maybe something to play a little bit more towards the Widowmaker, potentially draw out on. So we'll have to just wait and see what they land on when we come back. Welcome back. We are tied up here in our third series of the evening. Gladiators able to answer back with a win on their map pick of Midtown. Now we get look forward to Hangzhou's pick of Escort, see where they want to take us, and whether or not they can go ahead and move forward in this series up to match point. I think the 
real options here for the Spark were going to be Gibraltar or Dorado. I did mention earlier before we got into the series that going towards Circuit Royale might not be the correct choice for the Spark given that Shy has struggled in the Wudo uh, matchup. Arns, you actually do see just it's down the end tattoos there is coming in. I'm yeah, that's that's the key right there. Who's got the better tat? Who's got the better tat drip? Is it going to be XE or Arns? You decide in the chat. But uh, Arns is nonetheless going to come in for the escort, and you know it is going to be Dorado. So we're going to get some sniping in. It's going to be really nice to see. Um, still has to be something that Shy comes up against in terms of giving the Hangzhou Spark something to work with for a map like this. Uh, and the other substitution that we're going to talk about is that Bernard has been subbed out for Gushui. So we are moving towards a more Winston sort of favored map, which is why I was thinking either Gibraltar or the Dorado because they're both really Winston favored. Reiner obviously doesn't mind. He's going to be flourishing here regardless. And um, yeah, I mean, a brilliant map from Gladys. And we, we saw some fantastic macro strategies. The decision making, the disengages. I mean, that really is the most immaculate I think decision making in terms of how they're disengaging, when they're using ultimates, all that kind of stuff on that mid down. That's masterclass to me. It was absolutely excellent to watch. Now we'll see how they fare as we move into Dorado. Hangzhou Spark bringing us here to see if they can take the lead once more. Try to close things out with a 3 1. Gladiators, though, looking very much alive. Playing a hell of a lot more uh, together, I suppose convincingly as well and not only that but like any team that can survive situations oh, where you're down 4v5 but you can still but you can still sort of make that comeback and i'm not just talking counter frag because counter frag is like the more straight up way to try and make that comeback happen but just regrouping while sort of keeping objectives contested you know that sort of disengage we saw in midtown where they're down multiple members alpha he gets that vertical sick which by the way is exceptionally difficult to do um which is why it was so impressive to see. But even despite that, Spark couldn't find a single tick on, on A, and you know that stuff really makes all the difference. But as we move over towards escort focus maps, Arn's coming through versus Shy. We'll see what Shy wants to do here. There's actually gonna be the Sojourn first and foremost, not even gonna be looking at the Widow yet. Uh, interesting to see that will come through maybe on the B point Five, instead. Four, but Rhino versus Gooseray, I think, is, is the key battle here for us, because we sort of noted that in the pre-show as well about uh, how good Gushui's Winston has been historically versus now the rookie of Rhino. Ooh, didn't spot him. Alfie, he was right on the opposite side of that wall. I'm surprised he didn't put any damage into Ans, but by the way, Ans not finding too much. Just a shot into the shield of Super Rich. Gushui jumping across the opposite side. For now, Kart just going to be inching forward by Reiner. Gushui slept on the high ground. Can they get a punish is the question. Kevster moves up. The Bionade comes down. Gushui going to be making his exit, leaping back in with the rest of the squad. As Alfie and Kepster duke it out a little bit here on the high ground. Push up from Ons, he's looking for the there shot. So very close, hasn't quite been able to nail it yet though. Bubble comes down, Gushway stays protected as he eats yet another ante. Continuing to get chipped away at, needs to get to jump back in with the rest of the team. He's got a oh, sliver of HP. Someone, get this man some heals. They will be able to do they so. Can't. Kevster's on the Genji, so he can't just blink it as a tracer. He's playing for verticality here. The good news is that Gladiators, with effective damage on the Gushui, still get this push in. You know, this is even including the fact that they dropped the member to Shy. So, a 4v5 that Gladiators don't really care about. They'll just play the situation slowly. Oh. Wait for the respawn. Shy once again, picking up the opening frag. That's two now coming through from Shy. Can Spark get more ground off the back of this one? Gladiators have a lot of payload push so far. Yep, I was going to say Archway push without a single kill coming through, but. Yeah, Shy, he rectified that. Kevs to take it down now. The dive comes in. We're looking for the cleanup and all these kills that they can find. It's going to be pretty devastating for the side of the Gladiators and the time bank that they lose. Oh, It'll yeah, finish off Reiner and some extended little pickups here for the side of the Hangzhou Spark. Not only are they giant staggers, but that's actually going to be a lot of ult farms as well, specifically Reiner dying. I was going to, you know, had major compliments for the LA Gladiators macro up until sort of that point, but, you know, I won't be grilling them too hard for that one. You know, those kind of things happen, and typically they've been playing pretty damn good so far. The fact that they had zero kills, by the way, and still managed to push the payload under Archway is phenomenal. I mean, that, that is yeah. really exceptional stuff. To have zero kills and that much push, really good. One. It's just great pressure being applied, forcing Gushui's position, really opening up for the push there. Caps are now going to be nanned up as the blade comes through so far, kind of slashing it air. And oh boy, Irony plays it out, manages to get sleep, but he's woken back up. I wonder if that was super rich coming through mind, swinging the flail. Who does uh, lead to his support's death, but the cleanup is still looking good for the side of the Hangzhou Spark as the health packs come flying through as quickly as he possibly that can. Is fine, that healing. healing is out as well, and Shy, he does finally get cleaved down. Super Rich just rerouting, trying to avoid 
Reiner as much as humanly possible. Alpha E off screen, got a pulse bump stick on a shoe. Found that elimination now with the transcendence expiring. Skewed, he's got to pull way back away. Spark though, still waiting for members. You can see that Glads actually have area control. Reiner's healed back up, he's going back in. The rally was decent from Super Rich, but because they lose Shy, it's unfortunate. Gushwe going down after Primal. Now Hangzhou really in trouble. Could be catastrophic for him. Shy, he's gonna pop this, the overclock. Just now built up, looking for a target, and there it is! Back-to-back -back headshots! Arms and shoot, both taken out of the fight. Reiner trying to play around the bubble, but eventually Damn. falls. Absolutely massive from Shy. I thought maybe he was gonna save it because it looked like all hope was lost in this fight for the Hangzhou Spark, but Shy says, uh-uh, it's winnable, and he makes it happen. Yeah, people keep talking about merit. They talk about Kai. Shai's like, no, uh, I'm number one, baby. This is what the best Sojin in the world is supposed to look like. And Hangzhou Spark will be able to rescue themselves. Shai with opening two first blood kills on previous fights. He'll save this payload and this point as well with heroics on the overclock. And now down to 30 seconds. That's disastrous for the LA Gladiators. But they have another blade coming on through. No real defenses from the Hangzhou Spark. So they need to survive against Kev. Okay, the blade once more. Sleep Duck goes out. The deflect was used. Kev and they do. They're going to be sniped out of the air. Super Rich taking down. The cart started to inch forward. Someone's got to contest it. And they do. Two meters left to go. Gushwe going to be anti here for the moment. The Nano comes through. He dives into the back line. Finds Ons. Taken out. Skewed under a little bit of fire. The support ult's nearly there for the side of the Gladiator. Shoe. Nearly now, primal. The Nano. Primal. About to be there. The primal's going to come through. Reiner dives in the back. He manages to find irony. This time, no sleep start there. And try to shut him out of this. Gushwe going to be matching with the Discord orbs. They're just applying so much pressure. And he's got to make his exit without irony there. The healing is just so very slow and steady from the side of Super Rich, who has now fallen. Skewed, cleaning up some kills. It's those eliminations through, and they will finally be able to break into point A. Get that two and a half minute time bump, but oh boy, the Hangzhou Spark, they made them dig deep. Yeah, that was a hard stopping moment there for the LA Gladiators. They had Kevs' blade to get shut down by Shy. But the back line of the LA Gladiators stands strong. Shu and Skew did not go down the healing throughput onto Ryan to allow him to stay on the payload. Gushwe trying to bounce back between two different fights at the same time. He wants to go after the supports of the Gladiators, but at the same time, he needs to help his team contest the payload so he couldn't really focus on either of the two engagements happening. And Spark just don't get the kills. Alpha, you missed the pulse bomb as well, and the Gladiators stay in the game. Dynamite out. Flips on the Gushwe. That's going to give on to the first bomb. Alfie noted. Kempster's just calling for him, saying, yeah, yeah, can we please deal with this guy? And Kempster deals with him. Oh, my goodness. Puts him right on the ground. A huge play from him. The cart once more making good distance with a relatively low time investment from the side of the Gladiators, but now as the cleanup oh, is going to be a little bit more costly. Reiner jumped up over the top, was slept once more, going to be woken up. As he looks for a little bit of value with this ultimate, but widely he's not going to be finding a damn thing. Now he needs to try to make his way out to safety. The shot's coming his way, and I don't know if he quite uh, realized he fully knows, that Shai was knows. behind him, but there's the cleanup. He's taken out. In either case, I mean, I think he was he was pretty comfortably dead there, and that was a, a fight for the Hangzhou Spark to win through raw picks alone, because Ali Gladi has put themselves in an interesting situation. They have payload control. They also have the ultimates, and Spark, the only way they can win is to engage hard, find those picks, and then you're shooting your arms, and you're confused. Do I pop the ultimates here or not? Shoot pops in the nano, but arms hesitates on the bob. So the Gladiators, they have to accept their loss there, and now Spark are the ones looking at five volts. Alfie playing solo low ground, just keeping the cart hauled to the bomb. He's going to be coming through instantly. Delete Super Rich on. Finding an elimination in that regard, but everybody else piles in around him. They get the elimination. Shy once more. Finds Shu, finds Skewed. He gets right against every damn person on the side of the glass, just about. And there's the oh, shot. Oh. Cleans up Kebster to boot, and it's a team wipe with no time left in the time Safe. bank. I don't know. I don't know what you think the highest railgun accuracy you've ever seen is, but Shai's on 85, 85 percent. He's only missing 15 percent. It takes the cake. The math checks out. Utterly incredible. The touch is there. They will force out overtime. The Gladiator still in now such a significant amount of distance to try to close if they want to get that extra minute and a half. The Hangzhou Spark, the old economy, is still so damn healthy for him. Skewed holding on to the transcendence for now. Pulse bomb out from Kevs. They're not going to find a kill. Ons once more under fire. Goes low, nearly gets eliminated, but will live to fight another day. It would seem. Shilo. Shu taken down low. This Alpha Yeet trying to track. Doesn't have a recall available for a couple more seconds. Dips around the corner. Throws out the pulse. It sticks to the wall. And it's not going to get a kill. Irony in the meantime. Eliminated. Reiner finding the pickoff. LP has to make his exit. The jump back over here onto the card. Gushway trying to keep it contested, but again, the kill. Discord orbs. The 
target focusing from Skewed is so good. They find the elimination. 1.75 meters left to go. Now point 37. They have to keep it contested. But without B dying, they cannot. The Gladiators continue to scrape by and get these caps by the skin of their teeth. A minute and a half to try to finish this map. It's not looking great for them. Yeah, well, Shai could get staggered here as well, but now he'll finish up Ryan, and that is going to be at least a number, of st a number of trades coming through for the Hangzhou spot. So many times during that fight, by the way, how low Shai was. Gladiators know that he's the key target. They are running at him, trying to keep a lid on that guy, and because he was literally on 1 HP from just way too extended over time for the Hangzhou spot, they didn't heal him up in time. The damage wasn't enough. LA Gladiators, when push comes to shot, we get oh, okay. the OT twice in a row. Now, brilliant no opening shot from Anz as well, by the way. It's going to be the OT push on A, the OT push on B. Ryan is staying alive, Gushray going down, Alpha, you missed the pulse bomb, and now the snow, uh, the snowball coming through from the LA Gladiators with a few more important kills. Oh, Irony in a bit of a rough position now. The peel, they're attempting it. They got the sleep dart out on a rider, the anti down as well, and Shy will be able to finish him with the rail. Look at the distance. Hunt, however, is free, pushing right now with 30 seconds left to go, and it's nearly at the finish line, but Shy once more, he comes back through, instantly finds two kills. The nano had gone out. Oh, Shy receives one as well. The overclock popped. Spot shoot over here in the flank room. Gets him in the end with the rail. Kepster dead. Gladiators once more suffering heavy losses with just 10 seconds remaining. But they do get a, such a significant amount of distance here. Should be able to get a final touch here from Ryan, who nearly has the primal. It's not looking like nope. it should be capable. Shy just destroys him. Mid air shot as well. Get out of the stab. <laughs> I'm just back. I'm definitely going to be able to hold this one. But. I have to put an asterisk on that one. Don't celebrate too early for the spark. Gladiators, the heroics to be able to cap that amount of distance, especially yes. under duress. Again, A point OT push. Spark wanted the full hold, didn't get it. B point OT push. Spark wanted to hold on B, did not get it. Look at this distance on C as well. That's disgusting for 130. Glad's are happy with that. Look, I, I think it's... It's a pop-off moment for Spark in various cases, but the Glads as a team, in terms of the objective, they get it done. 80-46, this is a blue-collar day for the LA Gladiators. It's not pretty. They definitely got their yeah. hands dirty, but the job is done. That's a winnable position for the Gladiators that they can't be mad at. But uh, I repeat again, Spark here, uh, mechanically, off the back of Shy especially, hitting some of the most disgusting shots that we're looking at. Let's look at this. See it here, once again. The only kill that he was not able to net for himself. I just... Slides in for Utterly incredible. Piece. Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah, you finish him <laughs> off. Finish him off. The mid blank. Again, I, I... Yeah, so... Stat line coming through here. Shy currently sitting on 20 final blows. The entire LA Gladiators only have 23 final blows. I say only, it's a, it's a decent amount, but Shy is three final blows away from matching the entirety of all five members of the Gladiators. Is he deadlifting currently? Because it <laughs> kind of feels like it. He is 20 out of 33. He's he's more than deadlifting. Yeah. We, we've heard of Flannet deadlifts. Welcome to Shy deadlift. That is uh, just so utterly 20 incredible. out of 33. <laughs> Uh, just casually picking up nearly 66% of your team's skills. Well, it's a normal day for Shy, I reckon. It would seem like it. Jump up here, gets himself in, onto the high ground, sends out the nade. This time the rail not going to connect. Accuracy takes a hit. And so does Reiner, so he makes his exit back up onto the high ground. Shy just, I mean, he's just got free range right now. No one's punishing him. Look how far forward he's Five, going. Though, low. That kill. So just take him to the chest, man, just to survive. Reiner not diving forward. Gooch, wait, once more, just these Discord orbs, Discord orbs are just sitting on him. Skewed saying, yeah, we just gotta get rid of the monkey. If we can do that, then we're gonna be sitting pretty. So just keeps them on Gooch, wait, constantly. Well, There's a scary moment as well. 100 charge being held. Doesn't want to burn on Reiner. Oh, Arn strikes first, so that can be the risk you take. Take too long to fire. No one's is, uh, putting their head out for display. Couple fail fights, fights now for Gushray. the Spark. This is a Gushray just soloed the bad fly by himself. What's going on there? Look yeah, a little bit from Irony. A little minor assist from Irony, who does end up getting dropped at the back end of that. Kepster falling low and nothing to do to mitigate the damage. Three for coming from Gushray. So yeah, three kills for him. Trying to get sights over towards Reiner, who can just grab that health pack and exit over, over the wall back into the market area. 
And now this is real distance coming through. Nano should be coming onto Ryan in the next little bit. Well, maybe even save for Kev's to the plate is nearly there. That could be a win condition. Nano on the other side, nearly there for Irony. Expect a big alt fight coming on through. Arn's desperate for a pick that would be brilliant for the LA Gladiators. A single pick from Arn's, but he gets killed. That he does. Shy once more. Just out aiming him with the rail. Takes his head off. Kevster, he pulls the plate. He's anted up, but he is so very low. Has to make his exit, and this one's just right. Just slice in air. Ryaner in the meantime, dead. Now they know where Kevster's at, and they're just going to wave at him as the cart goes gliding by. And he actually gave up. Yeah, he just sits there. Kevster says, yeah, just go ahead and kill me. I need the reset. Yeah. He will do so. Well, they both a huge time bank. I, I, I understand Kevster, but Ryaner had an opportunity for Primal there. Maybe they just accept the fact that LA Gladiators as a whole, the call from the team is give it up, we'll play for B instead. Saddest Nanoblade in the world there, just a 40 HP Kevster running for a health pack with his Nanoblade. Ryaner with the Primal, opts to not blow it. We'll now go for the B defense. We're talking about Irons needing to open up for a frag that's shy against Irons from a long range. Alpha, you pick up with the shoe as well. Now, high ground being contested very early by the Hunter Spark. The few and far in between where we're seeing these shots come through from on. Dude, it, it keeps happening. Dude, it keeps yep. happening. Shy gets another one. Now the Infrasight's up, but doesn't have too many great targets to choose from. Reiner going to be taking a nap. Anti does get woken up. He's trying to take down Shy, but look at all of the resource allocation and just keep him alive. Reiner just barely managed to make it out of there. Nons as well under fire will get taken down by Gushue. Push continues. Hangzhou Spark breaking open his point B stretch. Look how just the Shai's ability just to pressure down the glass. They can barely even walk out of spawn. They're just taking so much damage. Shai will take the opposite side. That's a shot coming through that connects as well. Couldn't really see onto who. Overclock available. This is going to be deadly. We're actually just going to transfer it. So the trance is forced. Gushue forced uh, trance. Uh, yeah, he's just popping it. He's all the way out in the back. The pulse bomb in. Offers up a hell of a lot of damage onto the rest and skews is an easy cleanup kill. Now the support's gone. Reiner, Antti, dead. It's just Kepster, and there's just not a damn thing he can do here. He'll build up the pole oh up in the last few seconds, but four minutes. And they just they didn't even barely ult. have to finish the map. They're, okay, Skew does once. get a return frag, but I, I mean, you know, had to, yeah, the split fall, spawns coming on through. Some bad spawns for a few players. There's Shy slowed down here, but still moving on through. Nano clock available. Watch out for that one. 195 rails. I mean, Shy, he's been accurate on the headshots. This time, just a breath of wind on a couple players, plus a body shot's enough for a kill. Nano online for Shu in just a hot second here, but it's three and a half minutes to get to the end of C. They don't have to finish the map, but they do have to get to the end. Drop down, there's the stick. Very oh, nice little highlight, big. real play from Kepster. Making it look flashy. Nade comes out from Shy just to keep them zoned back. And for now, Hangzhou Spark will just wait for the reset for Irony to rejoin. They do have time on their side for the moment. Overclock and ready. Oh, Shy, Shy deleted. Too close to the sun there, Icarus, my boy. Down. Yeah, he was looking for the very aggressive peak. So his ego gets checked at least a little bit there. Good to know that Gladiator is about to, or at least uh, allowed to be able to get that frag on him. The uh, previous one, by the way, where I'm trying to actually who, who died there, but in either case, Gladiator's, uh, you know, two picks ago, reset the Hangzhou Spark, and that's very important as far as map control goes, because otherwise Spark will look at the snowball. It was irony, I believe. Oh, here's the slide forward. Shoot, take it down. Gushway moving in. Rail's now flying, and Hans got nowhere to go but the respawn room. Taken out. Recall used by Kev to just try to keep himself protected. Reiner pops the primal. Does juggle around irony quite a bit, and eventually gets the elimination. Enough shy in a rough this spot as well. Reiner. Has to slide out of the corner. He's there, however. Manages to trade it back. Now Kev's are going to be taken down. Alpha, you find the kill. The pulse pump let loose. Not going to find a kill. Keeps, uh, keeps them at an arm's length, continues to poke and prod Good forward. Prime will come in. Good to try to back him up, but yeah, he peeled it up the very last second that his score took him so very low. His max skewed over towards the cart. That's going to be the Transcendence and the Nano Boost, both used onto the Zinyata, just so he can try to stay alive. Rejoin over back towards the cart. Reiner falling lower and lower. Pulse bump from Kepster, not going to find anything. Watch the bomb. Anti nade goes out of the two. Irony getting chipped away at. Now eliminated. Shu finds that kill, but Reiner and skewed have both fallen. Ons only oh, the able to find so one. The pod is going to be invested. It goes through, but Super Rich is going to sit in front of it. They focus fire, take out the bob, clean up the rest. Hans will fall. The cart once more gliding forward, skewed with a desperate swap over to the Lucio. Just cannot stay in this. And Reiner can't arrive in time with the pile driver. Just too far up into the air. The old tizzy play from Apex Season 4. And there you have it. Hangzhou Spark 
will be able to finish the map. They will get the win and move up to win. Yeah. Two one. Take it. Take a bow, Shy, as well. I think the single greatest Sojin performance we've seen this entire season, hands down. Yes. Tell me if there's a better one. Never talk about Merit or Kai in the same sentence as Shy ever again. That was unbelievable in terms of what the output was. Again, as a reminder, I, and I literally saw the stat line come up at the B point defense for the Hunter Spy before they lost. 85% railgun accuracy for Shy. 85. 8. 5. He's, he's just nasty. Absolutely incredible play from Shy, from the Hangzhou Spark collectively, because everybody was sharing in that win Gucci with some fantastic moments as well. But that is the Hangzhou Spark now bringing in this two match point with a win. Gladiators have their choice for push. Let's see whether or not they can tie it up once more and give us yet another map five. Two days since our screens were last graced by the Overwatch League, and it's uh, an honor to don the headset again to bring you our fifth season. I'm excited. First day of Overwatch League 2022. I mean, it has been a treat of matches today. All types of upset. Feels like forever since we've had Overwatch League. To be back with such a fresh game, I'm here for it. Soldiers back in the mix, Genji's back in the mix. It has been a long time coming, and it feels great to be back. Proper's just eviscerated the Eternals' backline. Proper has arrived! There is a direct pipeline from the very best talent to the San Francisco shot. Pelican could take down Pelican. Oh, oh, come on! The He's gone! The revenge! Live events are back here at the Overwatch League. Now, Sewell, they do this composition to perfection. Funny Astro has been incredible for his entire career, just forcing the position of the Dallas Fuel. Okay, so this is the anti-nade that set the entire mm -hmm. thing up. What is more satisfying oh. than that? I cannot name a single thing. Come at me, bro. Let's see what you got. Can fight on top of this. What a trade. There's no way Happy hits those. Are we going to be in someone's YouTube video? Where's your god now? Dante on Doomfist, I think it's like one of the biggest standout things for that team. Fire in the breath. The Sleeping Dragon has awoken. They pushed the current reigning champions to the brink. One fight to rule them all now, Lemon. Ooh, beautiful stuff. This guy's a real deal. The cars just ran over Krillin and that. It's sports. It's unpredictable. What is this creeping? He obviously vented for this spot. Backs are just looking so open. I just saw this guy 
kill develop. He is the Alpha and the Omega. He is everywhere and nowhere all simultaneously. DJ Gong getting a triple boot. Hello, top five plays. Attack Fighter is available. Lip is going to pop that. Grand Finals MVP. Lip sealing the deal. All five members. They show that they can absolutely contend with the best of best. Gushui is going a mode, and Spark are just pummeling down the fusion. Who expected this? Your power rankings are terrible. Feels pretty darn good to be back here in a land yeah. setting. It's been quite some time. The Overwatch League's most decorated franchise here in a new era. The pulse on the bag! Another from Proper! Sparkle on a Genji meta. Sparkle found an opening. There's one, there's two. That's the Sparkle I want to see in this series. Those stats getting padded by Sparkle. Sparkle with two and another one. This is going to be a heck of a weekend, I'll tell you right now. You get Kai set up. It is going to be just like that the rest of the game. Back on their side of the map. That's a stink. Oh, checkmate. A Widow player potentially without equal. That is some filthy stuff. Where did that come from? A triple death blossom. But Pelican comes out of nowhere. That's two of the Storm Arrows. Millimeters away from what? victory. Shanghai Dragons just continue to play right out in front of the spawns. There's the blade being for you. Nice pin, long pin too. Alfie into the back there, managing to fight too. Basically the equivalent of three people. He nearly had all of the kills. Soul Dynasty have not defeated the Shanghai Dragons since the 2020 playoffs. I think these are the top two teams in APAC. And the Dragon's absolutely monstrous. They take down the Dragons like sweet. Best Widowmaker in all of APAC. No, oh, he fell onto it. Chester, who has been frightening ever since he joined this team. Smurf knows what it feels like to win everything. Hungry to experience that feeling once more. Edison is locked in, ready to go. Edison with a 5K. That's what you want to see. They might just pull the trigger here. They do, but an unreal wall from Chester. Now the stakes get ratcheted up a notch. It is do or die. Pops the recall. Is looking for the target. Oh. It comes in. He can fight for him. Pops in the meantime. Found two with the pulse bomb. Han Bin is the best sire in the world right now. Shu has absolutely taken matters into his own hands. But Hanapan free firing on the fuel. And after so very long, the dynasty will be able to best the dragons. Playoffs profit has certainly arrived. The script writers, they're not messing around today. You step up to the plate, son. With a victorious war, the gladiators are just tearing them apart. Soul Dynasty will dominate their way and secure the kickoff clash title. And we are back, and oh boy. This series has been absolutely insane so far. 2-1 the lead here for the side of the Hangzhou Spark after just putting on a clinic on their map pick of Dorado. Turns out to be really, really good for the Hangzhou Spark. You know, Gu Shui coming in for a map that he's very confident on. You get to see the Gu Shui uh, Winston again. But as we move forward to a push map here, this is where Bernard rejoins the team, likely to be playing something like a ball here, which has been pretty popular on Colosseo. That is going to be the map choice from the LA Gladiators. Patapan also coming in for Arns as well to be taken over Sojin duties. Funny Astro for Skewed gives you a few options for playing potentially Reinhardt. This is going to be the one thing I want to focus on, uh, the possibility of LA Gladiators playing a London-style Rhine brawl composition with the Rhine man himself, Reiner. But finding Astra specifically on the Lucio for that, it's an option. I don't know if they're going to go for it, but this is the test. Because we have had this conversation multiple times with the uh, other personalities and the you know broadcast talent as well, which is to say, can the Eastern Division teams from APAC play up against the best of North America's Brian Brawl? If this does happen, then that question will be answered. We will see. Gladiators up. Going to need to dig deep. See if they can take this into yet another map five scenario. Fusion are able to persevere in one just before this. Hangzhou Spark, they want to avoid it though. They want to look like a little bit of a, a cleaner representative here in APAC is one of the last two remaining. Yep. And uh, they want to be able to take this with a 3-1. Loser of this series, of course, will be falling down and playing up against the Fusion in their next series. Let's see who it's going to be. The Gladiators need to get a victory right here, right now. And I'll tell you what, no matter what the result of this right now is, 
you know, I think we all win as viewers because this is the absolute highest yes. tier Overwatch that you really can get between what is now, in my mind, because Soul have dropped out of the tournament, Spark are arguably the best APAC team coming in. Still pending what Ready. Shanghai Dragons and Shock do a little bit later on. Glads have been arguably the best North American team coming in. Again, pending what Shock do later on as well. So yeah. really, no matter what, you're getting the very best of both regions clashing here. And Spark being up 2-1 at this very moment in time. With Gladiators looking to maybe bounce back this to a map 5 by winning their map on to Colosseo. I mean, the very top of both regions squaring off very impressively even across the board. Any team can win. Well, the gates have opened on Colosseo. As you can see, Gladiators moving forward over towards Fountain. And Joe Spark seemingly expecting this positioning, so they hang back a bit, waiting for the bot to go ahead and unlock and allow for Bernard to use the third person it. ball to go ahead and do some scouting. And Kepster doesn't, he doesn't know how to turn right. He didn't see him. So they don't know where the ball is. Uh, he wouldn't have expected that. He probably wouldn't have expect, expected that Burnout was there, but you see that, you know, Hung just fucked it ready for it, obviously, because they spotted him, but Irony even had to oh, okay. Kev, and instantly Kev's uh, drops on top of Shy with the help of Reiner. Yeah, very nice early kill to kick things off here from the side of the Gladiators and get this bot moving. Irony gonna be taken down as well. Lasted a little bit longer than I might have anticipated for Zendiana, but it does end up falling all the same. Bot is gonna be contested for a moment, but they've already gained. 10 meters here, and with these kills coming through, they've broken open the map and can now can, can now start to get this push going. Yeah, that's a really strange situation as well, where Spark had knowledge that it was going to be a big flank from Kevster, and yet they <laughs> seem to be somewhat prepared in, in some ways, but also unprepared in other ways, because the combination of Reiner punching Shy first again, they know who their main target here is, with Kevster also coming in for the alley-oop kill, is yeah. going to be the 4v5 that gets snowballed heavily. There's the stick. Good Goes stick. Past the insane. shield. Super itchy. He had to drop it just a frame. Kevster manages to weave that one through. Gets the kill. Now chasing forward. Love to get that punish on the Alpha Yi for a little bit of additional stagger, but doesn't want to pursue too terribly deep. Alpha Yi does. Gets on top of him, but now Shy caught up in the crossfire. Ends up going down. Alpha Yi lobbing in the pulse bomb, but it doesn't get the stick, doesn't get the connection, and the Gladiator are cap. completely unhindered right now. Bernard slows it up in just a moment, but he's by himself and realistically can't do anything here. Super Rich will finally find Kevster, leaving in a bit of the pressure, but the bot continues to advance forward. The checkpoint may just be able to be taken here. That was the first kill, by the way, coming through from Spark. That's their second on the shoot. Funny Ash with the sound barrier is not going to end up saving shoot, but they can still cap this one. Just a few more kills required. Backline gone for the spot now. Broken down, Shy taken out as well. Bernard re arriving to stop the bot from moving forward and taking his little break. Starts inching forward once more with the cleanup on Bernard. There you go, the checkpoint achieved. Gladiators in, I want to say, like record time, managed to get all the way here 65 meters down, and quick. they start pushing again. Yep. Two and a half, it's insane. And you know, you see the Gladiators back out now. This is more of that fantastic Glad's macro. You see, I'm not going to overcommit for further push. Sneak up to 70 meters. It's enough. You want to regroup with Shu here. Bit of a quiet start for the Hangzhou Spark. Only two frags, one from Burnout, one from Super Rich. And the LA Gladiators, after sort of reviewing what happened on Dorado, they're putting all their attention on killing Shy. And he's died three times so far. Here's the overclock. Quick damage over towards Patty. They will be able to shut him down. A nice response here from the side of the Hangzhou Spark. And Shy gets another kill as well with Reiner falling. His own overclock now at the ready. Funny Astro will be sniped, so some crucial kills to be found, but the healthy Gladiators, they set themselves up so nicely at the start of this map, but the Hangzhou Spark have their work cut out for them if they want to be able to tie this up. Yeah, and they have the time advantage here as well for the LA Gladiators and the fact that they have so much to play with to try and defend. Alpha Yi, good stick coming through. That's going to be a hundred spark five versus four. Now, Glad's have the option of just trying to play aggressively here to go for trades, because if they do get trades, their respawn advantage helps them out. But their call is going to be to wait for the respawns, play the proper five versus five. The issue is they don't have ultimate spark, are still technically snowballing. Two more ultimates to play through. Rally could be pretty huge here. Jumping to the back, looking for irony. Picks him low. Bernard slept with the left. Slinky. Will get eliminated there in the end. Maybe for just a brief moment he was going to be able to survive, but Kepster gets on top of him. Reiner narrowly surviving. Looks for Alpha Yi, forces the recall. The punch is perfectly oh, timed. What a read from him, but Alpha Yi, he still manages to shut him down. Funny Astro, however, hovering nearby, gets that kill, and we'll have a sound barrier online. Longo Spark in the meantime continue the push a little bit as they get slowed up here. Can't cap. 24 meters, but they're not going to be able to make it to the cap. 
There's just not enough members alive, so the Gladiators are going to be able to trade effectively. I mean, Reiner even just forcing it's the kill to Alpha. He doesn't get the kill himself, but Funny Asher cleans it up, right? Because Alpha Yi was on 1 HP. And like you said, an insane read on the recall coming through Alpha Yi stops his rampage. Spark, without the help of all their members alive, they have to back on out. 44.76 is all the Spark will get. Brilliant defense by Glads. Looking great so far in the alt economy. Really. In their favor, Alfie sends up the pulse bomb, the only open they did have at the disposal, and it doesn't find any purchase, so no kill. Irony dead, shot, not taken down as well, but they start to answer back. Nano Blue's gonna be invested on the Kepster. Like Nano. Super rich, finds that kill. They'll be able to clean up Bernard as well after he swaps over onto the Zarya. Continues to chase forward, Alfie just ducking and diving away. Does stay safe, but once more, the Gladiators get the push going for themselves. They're just going to sneak meters, though. Again, the, the goal isn't to try and finish the map or to hit 100. They'll obviously take that if the opportunity presents itself. It ends up being a nano to, I guess, confirm the fight win. Sneak in, like, what, three-ish, kind of four-ish meters there just to make things a bit more difficult for the spark burner. Now, so off the back onto the ball. They got it behind the shield once more, and Irony was tucked in behind them. They both go boom. Big opener here from Kepster. Gets himself a third kill in the fight. Why not a fourth? Cleans him up. And once more, the bot just continues to remain on this side of the map. The Hangzhou Spark. Yeah. Not really able to ship it back across. And this will be meterage gained as well. Because Glads actually have members alive now, they're, just, they're not just kind of skirmishing for slight payload theft. They're actually going to go for a proper push that can go up to 90 or more. And this is a masterclass from Kevs so far. He has been indomitable on this racer. Okay, well, a good pick off. Bernard finding Shu. Gets with the pile driver, Reiner. Exiting with the Meteor Strike, not using it aggressively either. Just gets himself out of the safety as Patty will get cleaned up. Reiner's just gonna be, I thought he was gonna drop off the high ground, but I think he's more than happy to just go ahead and die because they know they have such a significant advantage as far as the distance is concerned. Yep. Every reset, every reset is extremely costly for the Spark because you're gonna see another fight come through from the neutral now. Because we're up to 90 meters, Spark pushed on back to mid. Four spawns will end in a second, but the four spawns allow them to take this mid fight, right? That's the important thing. And the flank's being covered by Kevsa, so Alpha Yi can't take that route. But they still have it. Reiner locks the bot in place. Starts moving forward. It's just a couple meters away from locking out those forward spawns. But now we'll still be holding Bucket on to Alpha Yi looks for a target. Oh, oh man! What a turn of his attention! Spots Chu at a glance! Double dashes forward, finds the kill. A big opener. He was gonna have the nano up in this extended fight. Now they will not have it. Irony gonna be taken down at the back end. The pulse bomb from Kepster and beyond the grave will still find Super Rich. I'm not sure if the shield was destroyed or not. Either way, he goes down, so a bit of a bloody brawl, but it's one that the Spark will be able to win out on and start moving the bot forward a little bit. And by the way, they, that was a very late cap on the mid by as well. And what I mean by cap is you have to push the bot past the midway point to deny the forward spawn. So LA yeah. Gladiator has actually got a full wave of, I think, forward spawns there, minus Funny Astro, which is why they get to reinforce so quickly. We're going to have another fight in the mid, despite Hunter Spark winning that fight. It's just they couldn't capitalize in time, and they also lost both their supports. Down to two and a half minutes now. Reiner going in deep, the Meteor Strike coming through. Super Rich puts the shield up, gets punched Should to the I shut side. down. Dive into the back. They are looking for the kill here on Irony. They think of lower and lower for the rally. Helps keep him alive. Shy dead, as you said. The one for one overall so far. But now Alfie joining him in the grave. Both the DPS on the side of the Hangzhou Spark. And have to try to rejoin the fight a little bit late. But the health bars from the side of the Hangzhou Spark are just so damn low. And they're going to remain that way with Irony dying as well. Super Rich trying to keep the rest of the team and end himself in this fight, but it's just so much pressure being applied. Reiner just sitting in the nade, doesn't care. Eats the damage off wow, himself. Astro again. Charge over towards his teammates as Astro finds Shy once more. Yeah, it's the second kill in a row on towards Shy. They actually shut down his overclock, so they're doing a much better time, a much better job of actually putting the lid on Shy. Again, this is their target focus. They want to get him down. Shy currently on eight deaths, tied with Super Rich on eight as well for the highest amount of deaths. So Gladiators are just diving on top of Shy, whether it's the Lucio player funding Astro or somebody else like Reiner and Kevster. They have to get those kills, and they are. Hunter Spark is struggling. It's forward spawns once more as Bernard goes back over to the Zarya for the second time. Kevster playing out right in front of their spawn. Temple members contained. Oh, they're not paying attention! There's the stick, and Super Rich is just magnetized for these right now. Kevster gets them once more, follows up for Irony. The supports are out of the fight. Howdy Pan gonna be taken down by Alpha here the back end. Kevster dead as well, so the DPS dealt with, but with a minute remaining. Hundred meters nearly off. 60 meters that they have to go ahead and cover. This is looking done and dusted. 
And Reiner looking for more kills here. I mean, this is all slow. Reiner doesn't care if he dies. Even if Reiner dies here, and he's just going to go for this one. Yep. It slows the spark he's down. The spark have to deal with him. Okay, they do sleep him. He almost gets out for you. Pinning him there to the wall. They will finally be able to deal with him, but in the meantime, the bot has just sat here on the bridge, continuing to make its way across. The Hangzhou Spark have not been able to wrest control away from the Gladiators whatsoever. Patty Pat now going to be nanoed up. Overclock nearly at the ready. Do manage to pile in, find the enemy sojourn, and finally can start moving the bot away. And a one what a miraculous OT push this would be. The bot for now not being occupied by the, hot, the side of the Hangzhou Spark. They're actually trying to play forward. Zal B falls lower and lower, has to kite back. I mean, this is all but done. I mean, you're ready to load up map number five already. Hangzhou Spark will go for the Miracle Push. At this point, if the Ally Gladius kill even one person, the map is done, call it oh. finished. Hangzhou Spark with another map pick to go forward. Yeah, it's just not a good pulse at all. Funny Astro builds up the sound barrier, drops the beat, keeps everybody shielded. Patty Pan gonna be dead, however, before he can use the overclock. Reiner slept, falling lower and lower, and okay, the fight, they do win this one out. Kevster, free calling. Still holds on to the Pulse Bomb and likely will, and yeah, doesn't want to let it loose. Funny Astro just gonna go ahead, in forward, gets the reset so, off. Three more fights, question mark, left for the spark to that. actually do anything here. Yeah, maybe four, considering they had to push 60 meters and OT again. The key thing here is one death. Hangzhou Spark literally can't die. Not a single member. I mean, they, they haven't got the checkpoint yet, right? So they still no. have to wait for that. They still... Oh, and it's over. Okay, that should basically be it. Al Shai, he does have his own overclock. Puts a chest shot there on a patty pan. Now that he manages to scoop it. Shy with a headshot. We'll find Shiel. Reiner getting super rich, however, as he falls lower and lower but with no supports now in the fight. This is looking so very hopeless for the side of the Hangzhou Spark, especially with Shy dead. The cleanup comes through, it's all on Alpha E, no HP to speak of. And there you go, OT, bleeding away. The Gladiators, they will win on Coliseo, they will extend this into a fifth and final map. Not going down without a fight. Hangzhou Spark, they have their pick of the litter, but whether or not it's going to be good enough to deal with the Gladiators after what we just saw, especially from Kevzer on this Tracer, this yep. is a, a scary position to be in. It's carry performance after carry performance. We had Shy on the previous map. Kevster will bounce back now. On this Tracer, so phenomenal in terms of the pulse bomb sticks, the kill pressure. It starts with a one-two punch from Reiner first, then Kevster coming in for the kill onto Shy in the opening minute. And then from there, it's done. An impeccable performance from him from the rest of the Gladiators. The Hangzhou Spark now being pushed to the brink. Can't close it out cleanly. Can they do what the Fusion just did moments before them? And win in a map five. We'll have to see, and we'll see where they take us for our last round of control when we come back from the break.
And we are back. The action continues with yet another map five. Hangzhou Spark unable to clean it out, un unable to get a victory on the map pick of Colosseum from the Gladiators. They take it. Now we set our sights on Ilios as the final map in this series. Really good map pick choice from Gladiators to go towards Colosseo. Playing to the strengths of the Gladiators. I think a sub in from Funny Astro made a big difference as well to their speed and pacing, their ability to get onto the back line. Funny Astro really getting active in the kill feed as well. I have to remind everyone oh, that, yeah. you know, Shy was a big problem on Dorado, and Gladiators made it a point to try and shut him down as hard as possible on Colosseo, and they did that through a multitude of different ways. Every single player contributed to getting Spark uh, down, getting the win conditions away, and having the early leads, you know, 90 meters at the start, they're even sneaking an extra push to get to 100 even further. See Rhino basically spawn camping, but that just delays the Hungjo Spark further. Gladiators are sneaking even more meters in. All of those small things really lead to Gladiators taking away the map in, in what I believe a dominant fashion. I don't get baited by those OT pushes. I think once you get to a certain map state and a certain game state, once Ali Gladiators have set that up, um, from a macro perspective, it, it really is all but one. Like, Kangjo Spark would have to play better than they did on Dorado, which I don't think is possible to really have a chance there. So we go to map five now. It is Spark's map pick. And so far, the team that picked the map has won the maps. So Spark, an opportunity here, maybe. Outside of Oasis, we should say. <laughs> That's the one that uh, right, yeah. fell, fell through the cracks on that, that little rule. But, after, uh, after that, after that. Yeah has been uh, a big boon for the squad, but with control, it always is a little it's a little less cut and dry when it comes down to, you know, what kind of advantages you can really gain for yourself. So we'll see if it does work a treat for the side of the Hangzhou Spark, because, I mean, just a reminder to set the stakes here. Winner from this series advances forward to play against the winner from our next series in the day, and then the loser falls down mm -hmm. to that lower bracket that has to go through the Philadelphia Fusion if they want to stay in this tournament. So everything to play for. Not an elimination match, but obviously you don't want to be making that lower bracket run. And I'll repeat myself here again, you know, really, no matter who wins, we all win, because this has just been the highest level of watch that we've had. I mean, yes. it is incredible how well these two teams are playing. The mechanics being shown, the macro play, the decisions being made as well, the strategic plays from both teams, I think especially glad it is in some cases, has just been phenomenal. So uh, whether NA wins or APAC wins or whoever loses, it's going to be a three and two result. You really don't get Overwatch better than this. This is about as close as you can get as well. No, it, it, it absolutely is. And, you know, I made, I made the mistake after our second map of going and seeing, like, how's, how's the chat doing today? Go ahead, give it a little sniff, did a little investigation. You have some people saying, like, wow, these, these APAC casters are so biased for the Hangzhou Spark. Guys, we're not. For map, map three, I guess, was escorters after Dorado. We're not. They just played really, really well on Dorado. So we sang them praises. And then we sang praises for the Gladiators on Coliseo because they played really, really well. So just use some critical thinking, put your heads together, and you can come to a, you know, a conclusion as far as what's actually going on. Imagine we that. are here team, for good team. Overwatch. We are not here for anybody in particular, for any region to win this. It's crazy. Team winning gets compliments. Team losing gets criticism. And uh, no matter who it is, that stays consistent. Imagine that. So uh, we'll see who wins and loses here and who gets the compliments and the criticisms as we move on forward. As Ilios being the map choice, chosen by the Hangzhou Spark, uh, I think the most important thing here is that Funny Astro is staying in. Yeah. So pace for the Gladiators, boosted up to 11 here. Speed is going to be important. Their dives have looked immaculate off the back of Funny Astro, Reiner and Kev's the plank together. Wonder what kind of comps we'll see as well, because this is a pretty ball favored map, which is what Burnout wants to play. He wants to play the Wrecking Ball here. Is Reiner going to match that or go back towards Doom? Because he's been phenomenal on the Doom. Well, as we can see on our screens, and you guys will see in just a moment, it is going to be well drawn for the first round of Ilios. So, I mean, funny answer if you realistically wanted to, could stick with the Lucio, but we'll have to just wait and see what the overall composition looks like. This is the could be a break OG well. stomping ground for Lucio's. I will say that if they do want to play Brig, Skewed probably would have been the right call here from a substitution standpoint. So if you do see Funny Astro, it really should be the Lucio. Otherwise, again, put in Skewed here for this particular map. So it is going to be the Lucio in Rhino currently hovering the Winston. Uh, this is well, is it not? So well, pretty damn good for... I think I think Doom would even be preferable to a Winston for Rhino. And it does look like he's going to stick on through. About a couple of seconds left here to maybe decide. Ball is definitely the preferred choice, if not Doom. So Reiner, we'll have to see if this one works out. 
And here we go. The gate's opening for the last map, the first round of Ilios. TP forward. Echo for Alfie once more has been a staple pick from him. And it's been very few and far in between where he gets punished on this pick. Let's see how he fares again. Shu under some early fire. Spots Kebster up over top by Windmill. Just turns his sights over to the supports. Gladi is rotating through, but Alfie trying to get in as much damage as possible. He's super rich on the high ground there as well. They're looking to collapse onto this burner on the sides. Minor barely getting out with his life. Yeah, the beam unable to connect, otherwise maybe Alfie would have been able to burn him down. Diving forward though, funny Astro. Receiving quite a many few of those sticky bombs. Let's stay alive. Shu just rapidly building up towards this nano. 28% left to go, and the side of the Hangzhou Spark, not much to speak of as far as the all charge is concerned for their supports. And it's gonna be irony. Eliminated, first and foremost. Shu does get traded out. Super Rich, however, under too much pressure. Ends up crumbling. The Gladiators have broken open. They should be able to get this first cap. Yeah, there's double supports down. Spark now are definitely in trouble. They have to rely on health packs. This should be the cap coming up through in just a few moments. With Alpha E falling, there really isn't much hope for the Hunter Spark anymore. Rhino making a little bit of a whoopsie play there. I believe he went off the map. Yeah, it would seem like it. Gladiators do. Lock down this point. For how long is the question but with Bernard out of the fight? Hangzhou Spark looking like they're just going to sit back go for a reset. Gladiator should be able Real to... Real quick as well, I want to highlight Shu because... Shu has a nano available, but he also opened up that fight. He does die, but he enables to come to Irony because he landed a long range sleep dart on top of Irony, which allows Ryan to get the kill. So that's how things start for the Glads. Also is available now for both teams. It is. And it Sword gets the stick. It's on a Rhino, though, and he's going to be nanoed up, so doesn't find too, too much damage. Kempster, in the meantime, he gets an elimination with his. Kill on Irony. Now Super Rich again going to be taken down. No support to the fight for the side of the Hangzhou Spark as Alpha E. But he's broken out of the dupe by Funny Astro, and he's just trying to kite back. 39 HP, drops down, grabs the health pack, will manage to stay safe. The flip is there for the side of the Hangzhou Spark, but with this many members on the side of the Gladiator still playing far forward, they could get a quick flip. Oh, Rhino. He's going lower and lower, but are trying to play forward to get something done here. They can't get the punish onto the enemy, Winston, but they'll keep him at arm's length for the time being. But funny Astro again, as soon as Irony re-arrives, seems like he's right back into the dropship. Yeah, Rhino's saved now because he's got the primal available. Burnick is taken down by Shu mid ultimate. So the mines might be out in play, but Gladius should have this one. They lose Shu. Still four though. Jumping into the back. They're looking for Super Rich. He's just stuck in a corner with nowhere to go. No one to peel for him. He dies. Now the and Shy will manage to find one apiece, but it's just not going to be good enough for them in this fight. Still waiting on the supports to respawn and rejoin the fight. The primal does come through from Reiner. Looks for a target. Spots Shy. But can't quite get on top of the Tracer with a relative ease, so widely the Primal just going to be keeping him alive rather than doing damage. Well, it keeps the point alive as well, so Gladiators don't lose control there. They get all their five members back, waiting for the Blade to come through for the next fight. Under Spark, looking for a Rally, Shy, opportunity for the Pulse. Right, yeah. Well, Kips will get it first. He gets another one, another support taken down, a nice stick there from Shu, or on to Shu, rather, from Shy. These SH names. Gets that pick, but Shu in his dying breath got a shot across on the Super Rich so once more. His both of the supports gone on the side of the Hangzhou Spark. Now, Alfie out of the fight as well, and that's a hell of a lot of the firepower here. Shine having to pull away. The flip not there. 90% online for the side of the Gladiators. Patty going to be coming back through with the blade ready to be pulled out should he need it. Right now, that's even unlikely. Might just use it all the same, though. Rally rolling Super Rich. Beats there's all the Funny Astro. Trying to keep him up, and as you say, the beat is available from Funny Astro. As long as he doesn't get picked mid-drop, he's still very low. So low! You get the kill, Alfie finally beams him down. A big opening, but they have to win out the fight. They have to get this flip, and even then, they are still not out of the woods. Point so very far away from being won from the side of the Hangzhou Spark. The kill's finally flying through. They should be able to clear this one out as they deal with Kebster. It will gain control, but they're starting at 17%. And I'm so surprised it's been difficult for the Hunter Spark to kill Ryanair because this Winston has much more difficult time surviving than a Doom would on this map, than a Ball would on this map, the lack of mobility right, the Shu and Funny Astro keeping Ryanair up, his own Winston mechanics as well, keeping him up, staying alive via the Primal Rage. Ryanair's actually only died twice this map, which is incredible for Winston in this sort of matchup. With and one of them was on the other side that should just beam you down, right? Yeah. So, uh, Glads have about five ultimates. They, they might have lost that fight, but they're in, in position to take the round. Okay, sound barrier dropped in from Funny Astro. An our anti, but that'll expire. Pulse bomb at the ready once more from Kepster. Patty diving into the back with the blade, but he's going to be focus fired. Alpha E comes through with that beam. Cuts him down to size. Now the supports are going to be out of the fight as well, and Reiner wisely holds on to the primal range. They know that they still have a couple more fights in this before they're really in a dire situation. As Patty is going to be swapping over Dagger. to Sombra. 
And look at this as well. Hung just fuck held on to three ultimates there. Where was a nano from Shu? Patty goes for the play, but either Shu was under pressure or he just couldn't see Patty. But that was a, some sort of miscoordination from the Gladiators. A very rare moment where you beat in, you're obviously playing for a blade. The nano is required, doesn't get played, and the rest of the players like, well, we lose this fight, hold on to the ultimates, come back for another day. Sombra, just to get in quick. I'm out of here. It's final fight now, Spark of 99. That it is. Down to a wire, a major reversal here from the side of the Hangzhou Spark to get this far. Can they close that out is the question. Alpha Yi. Oh no! Oh! He's jumping back, but he has to actually booping him forward and he can't fly back out of there in time. Ends up going down, it will be a one for one. Shu and his iron breath offering up the nano boost to try to keep his team in this fight. Honey has to run to the wall, he's down 4 HP. He still stays alive. He actually gets irony as well. He's doing such an immense amount of work here. The flip is still not there, however, for the side of the gladiators. Um, Joe Spark fighting tooth and nail to keep this point occupied and make sure the flip cannot come through. But now, Shy is going to down. That is the delay tactics widely dealt with. Bernard still hovering nearby, but the flip is coming in. Bernard re-arrives, gets back in, keeps it contested. It's down below half HP. Needs some TLC. They clear the point. That's the Gladiators now in control. Alfie taking down Shu. Returning to the Moira. Comes up with two kills, and it's good enough to get the cap. The first round goes to the Gladiators. My goodness, Daniel Hathaway go to the sticks. That is a performance on the Lucio and a half. The boop kill onto Alpha Yi. When he comes out of duplicate form, cannot fly out in time. The kill onto Irony as well. He got three kills in the middle of that fight, and he's been doing so much over the course of the last two maps. I mean, he gets subbed in for Coliseo. Has the ability to shut down Shy multiple times. Super says, keep play Sombra, I think. Let's take a look at this again. That's one boop onto Alpha Yi was massive. If Alpha Yi gets to fly out of there as an Echo, that could be game changing because you have the rally available. Hunter Spike would have still had five players. It would have been big. Funny Astro puts them in the pit. Well, Reiner answering back saying, Who are you? He's on a different team and probably won't play, but either way, he's keeping up the trash talk here. Where are you? I mean, Super Rich has widely been absent in these last two maps, consistently getting picked off by the likes of Kepster. The only fairs now is Hangzhou Spark are on their last legs, need to win here on Lighthouse. Extend this to Ruins if they want to be able to take the series, otherwise the Gladiators looking like they may just be able to move forward. Irony taken down, dealt with off the rip. Shoe does fall as well. Minor down Minor's to alive. HP, but somehow he still manages to come up with a kill. Shine collapses in, gets that elimination on him. And a little bit of a trade up here as Patty will go down to the back end of the fight. Funny Astro as well under some duress. Does get cleaned up. Super Rich making his name known. The cap was there for the Hangzhou Spark, so they begin ticking up. Oh, and the easy drop down there as well. Sip some tea. <laughs> Spill that tea, baby. All right, Super Rich, like you said, you want to see a little bit more? That's four final blows coming through so far. And like Gladiators. Funny Astro, though, getting that opening pick. Again, super impressive from Funny Astro to be able to do that. I think it's on plays like Irony, most importantly. And Reiner being able to trade himself. Shu with the opening pick now, though. Alpha Yi dealt with. Good sniping from Shu. Flip nearly there. And Bernard moving forward. Keeps the point contested. Recall going to be burned by Shy. False bomb goes out. Clips on to Reiner, but it's not going to be enough for a kill. And the Gladiators, they manage to take the point in all the chaos. Full bomb at the ready. There's Super Rich. Stuck Thanks. once more. And Kempster knocks him right back into obscurity. A great kill. And I, I can't see it because of the chat. Yeah, he said easy as well. I was going to say his cam was blocking, but now I can see it. <laughs> we know when the trash talk comes on through. And th this is, by the way, like map number five. Uh, loser goes out of lower bracket. So Gladiators have double support ultimates online. Trying to control the point. Should be the 37 online pretty soon for themselves as well. Alpha Yi in a lot of trouble, actually. Shires are in dead. Yep. Good from Funny Astro. Continues to look absolutely excellent. Alpha Yi getting right on top of Shu. Nothing that realistically he could have done other oh, wow. than, you know, maybe nailing a sleep dart, but two kills coming in. Funny Astro does drop the beat, offering up that shielding to the three members left alive on the side of the Gladiators. And so far, they still do maintain control of this point as Super Rich was sent back to the spawn room once more. Bernard cut off Kester, just getting out in front of him. Finds that elimination and Spark. Doesn't seem like they're gonna be able to get onto the point this time. Pulse goes out again. This time it will go wide, but the Nano Blade's about to be online. Patapan 9 away from it. Alpha copying over towards the Tracer, one of his key heroes. Double Tracer's on board now for Spark. Can he get a Pulse Bomb? And if it builds it up, can he find a nice target to stick? Patapan pulling out the Blade, Nanoed up. Shu finding the opening kill. Shy goes down. 
Alpha Yi, he did get a pulse, but didn't get anything with it. Right before he gets a second, he does get taken out back into the Brawl Echo form. Beam comes through, does find Reiner. Patty Pan low, the whip shot from Super Rich will finish him off. They continue to look to contest this point and get this flip into their favor. Super Rich continues to clean him up. Looking for a little bit more. Now with Funny Astro going down, they should be able to get this. But Gladiators, they're thinking about 90%. This is still dire straits for the Hangzhou Spark. You know, Alpha Yi is able to get a number of kills there. I mean, just a little while before, you just see him floating down. Something about floating like a butterfly, singing like a bee, I'm sure. To get the kill to shoe in more. The Hangzhou Spark, like you mentioned, is going to be a bit of a hill to climb there behind. Clay significantly. Shy would love to get a stick there, but will miss. Doesn't get the connection. Good anti out on the two. Slows up the supports a little bit. Buys them some space. As Kepster looking for the back cap. Look nearly there. Shy has to contest. He moves forward. As Kepster just plays around the Winston bubble to keep himself protected. Does now expire. Shy forced to recall. It's right hit back here on the point. Has to dash out. The flip is through. Gladiators back in control. Right, they're going to be taking a nap for the moment. Shu going to be taken down. Kepster pulse bomb nearly at the ready. Jumps forward. He's looking for irony, but he cannot get that elimination. Falls low. Manages to stay alive. 99% now locked in for the side of the Gladiators. The flip nearly there once more for the side of the Hangzhou Spark. They clear the point, they get it. 70% as Bernard crashes through two to get the eliminations. They're back in control and it's gonna be final fight territory once more for both teams. Cell Bear plus Primal though, I mean, this one can go the distance. Gladiators have a lot of resources left to play through. Rally plus Mines and Dupe for the Hangzhou Spark. You need to see a good dupe out of Alpha Yi. Would really not want to see the dupe onto Funny Astro's Lucio again. Ideally, Alpha Yi gets either Kevster or Patapan for a Tracer or Genji. Those are ideal picks because he has signature picks on those. Bernard waiting. Gets a slight boop there. They're looking for Shu. The sound barrier comes in from Funny Astro. Keeps Siana alive. Anti out on the Reiner. Falls the low. Pops the primal. The flip getting ready to come through back over onto the point. So far, the recontest has not happened. Alpha Yi dips in. Manages to lock it in. The dupe comes there through. Smart going to be over onto the Tracer. The point cleared out, the Gladiators, they step back through, they get the flip! Super Rich now gonna be taken down, Funny Astro breaks it open once more. Shu gonna be eliminated, Funny Astro down to about half HP, continues to get whittled away at the Pulse Bomb. From Shy, not gonna find anything. Zanano is out on the looking to clean him up in Reiner, gonna be taken down. Funny Astro now looking to delay as much as he possibly can, stop this flip from coming through. Sticky Bombs offered up over to the side, does get kept to the blade, pulled by Patty Pan, dashes through, cuts down Bernard, looks for a little bit more, he's gonna get shy, he gets super rich, he gets absolutely everybody! They clear them off the point, the Gladiators will manage to take it. A 2-0 on Ilios, a 3-2 in the series. They stay in the upper bracket. Pop up there from Pan Pan on the Genji towards the end. Their massive celebrations. They know how hard this game was. Spark put up a monstrous performance, but when it comes down to the end, a brilliant Colosseum map leading to an Elios 2 0. Pan Pan with the player of the game selected in the game there as well. A Genji Blade to save the day and prevent the third round from being executed by the Hangzhou Spark. Denying that Tracer dupe as well. That could have been everything for the Spark, but it doesn't end up doing much for them. And the LA Gladiators, I think the funny Astro sub in on maps four and five was so damn impactful for this team. Right when they needed it the most, Patty coming up with a big blade after a couple botched ones on that first round of Ilios. The Hangzhou Spark, this is not the end of the road for them, but this is definitely gonna be a very bittersweet moment. As now they have to fall down and try to knock out their cohorts from APAC in the Philly Fusion. Yeah. So APAC will be eliminating itself come tomorrow, I suppose. But the Gladiators, they stick around. And now they have to just sit back, relax, wait and see who their opponent is going to be after we get through that next series between Shanghai and the Shock. Our player of the match, though. I think uh, after the last couple maps there, it could really only go one way. It's gonna be Kevster picking it up. That Coliseo performance from him on the Tracer was just absolutely gorgeous. And it didn't stop on Coliseo either because we saw how impactful he was on Elios as well. Yeah. Just really had a field day on that Tracer. I mean, Kevster came up so massively on those last two maps. Uh, it's the funny extra substitution. It's the Kevster Tracer, the Paddy Blade right at the end there as well. Reinhardt actually performing super well on that Winston on a map that I think traditionally would be better suited for the Doom and the, the ball, but, you know, Reiner kept it up. He didn't have that many deaths, especially on that opening well. Kefster at the end of the day, though, I, I think Colosseum would not have gone as clean for this team if it wasn't for how damn good Kefster was on this race with the sticks, with everything else, with lining up the dives, the rest of the team. Uh, it really was just a brilliant performance coming through from the Gladiators. Yeah, very well-rounded. I mean, funny Astro 
stepping in uh, for those last two maps, and he looked absolutely phenomenal. Still incredibly well practiced on the Lucio, and one of the best in the world in that regard. But Kevster, absolutely putting up figures here for his squad, was just yeah such an incredible uh, performance from him on the tracer. He just took over and did not, like you said, he did not back down going into Ilios. He maintained that level of performance from Coliseo. And I gotta say as well, I think the the key map for me in this particular series is actually Midtown, and we have to kind of rewind to that second sure. map, because that was the one that I felt like uh, was a blunder massively from the spark, right? That B side C9. defense of the C9 has to be one that you revisit, because I think the rest of the series was very close, very competitive, but the one part of the series that does stick out like a sore thumb that, um, you know, was just not good Overwatch. I mean, if we say the, the overall game was great Overwatch, that one piece, unfortunately, was not. That's something that sticks out for the Spark really poorly. The rest of it was very competitive and very enjoyable to watch, but Midtown uh, is going to be an unfortunate position for the Spark to be in, and I think for the Gladiators as well. If you want to see just what I consider to be perfect macro on the defense, especially that A-side defense, Gladiators executed beyond what I've seen any team do. Just brilliant tactics. Uh, they knew exactly how to play that map. Yeah, it was perfect. And it, it's something about Midtown just always has incidents occurring. And this time it's the Hangzhou Spark who fall victim to it. Like I said, it was going to come back to bite them in the rear if they lost this series. And I think that that one is going to be weighing on their minds for a little bit. But it's about shaking loose, you know, not focusing on those mistakes from this series, being able to clear your heads and move forward for that series tomorrow mm -hmm. against the Fusion. So we'll see if the Hangzhou Spark, you know, how they can bounce back from this and see whether or not the Gladiators can maintain this dominance. But we have to figure out first who they're going to be playing against. That's going to be in our next series with the Shanghai Dragons taking on at the San Francisco Shock. But first, we'll have the desk break down the action from this incredible five map series after the break. The Overwatch League is brought to you by the University of Hawaii at Manoa. Go to takemetomanoa.org today.
Welcome to Game Break, everybody. I'm here joined now by Patty Fan from Los Angeles Gladiators. Patty, what a match! What a match! And that last uh, team fight and that clutch moment. Can you just briefly tell us what was going through your head when you were play uh, pulling out that Genji blade with uh, with funny Astro by your side? I mean, yeah, I was betting the entire team. I was betting Shu, betting Reiner, betting everybody. Um, but I wouldn't be able to pull pull that off uh -huh. against a like better team such as chalk or something like I, I think it's not me being good it's just it's just it's a shot uh, it's just it's just 